and welcome to the Final Stage Podcast. My name is William, and look, I know that both Arson and myself have a claim to the title of host of the Final Stage Podcast. However, it clearly states in our contract that only one of us can have this title. Therefore, the two of us are going to have a race against each other, and whoever finishes in the fastest time is going to be the sole host of the Final Stage Podcast, get money, a giant trophy, and the other person could just stand there awkwardly. <laughs> Yowza! That may be related to something we're going to be talking about later in the show. It may but or may not be related. It may or may not be related. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It, well, when we get to that, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll, See, we'll, I already screwed up that joke. There we it's go. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So how 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 was how was your month? <laughs> Better than Jeff's, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, come on! That was the only like, comeback I had. Yes, um, it's fine. It's fine. And it was all right. Um, I finished the Sasuke Thirty One blog. Yay! Um, all right. A couple other things, and um, now neck deep in Anasaz's interview, which should be done by the time this podcast comes up. Ah, so it'll be done tomorrow. Great. Oh, it's gonna be done tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. <laughs> I'm used to Fridays now. On yeah, that's because, and you should, and you should be used to Friday because there's no way this is going up tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh my god. Uh oh. is there anything anything else uh, exciting happened? Uh no, just uh outside of having writer's block and and being frustrated that I'm so far behind on things, <laughs> which is about normal for me. Uh. But um no, it's it's been a fairly quiet month. Well then. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very short. <laughs> uh my month was actually quite eventful. <laughs> cool uh so so let's see uh one day i went to the u.s open uh, oh god that was awesome i saw pictures yeah, Thank i you. Went, went to watch some tennis saw nadal for like um a minute uh <laughs> watched uh S- venus williams win a match i watched djokovic uh beat some guy uh, this was this was this was early in the tournament before like the big names started yeah. facing each other. Um, yeah, you know, um, like I, like pers- like we went during the night time because we had night tickets. But um, I, I, like this is my second time going. The rest of my family has been going a lot longer than me. Um, mm-hmm. I personally prefer the daytime because there's a lot more tennis to watch because there's a lot more tennis being played around the. They have a whole bunch of courts in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Open area. Yeah, I've I've watched a lot of U.S. Open in my lifetime. Yeah, um, it, it's it's still cool because like you know it's, it's it's professional tennis players playing tennis really mm-hmm. well. I and, love um, tennis. They're actually mm-hmm. they're actually in the middle of building a retractable roof in the uh, main stadium. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So I did not know that. Yeah, it's see. I like, used to follow it back in the. Um, the late 90s early 2000s uh, during the uh, Agassi with right, right. Um, Sampras and um, the beginning of uh, Roger Federer right and then I found Sasuke and then yeah there we go <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then my life kind of like switched over in in terms of uh um, passionate hobbies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I used yeah. to watch every freaking match that was possibly available on cable television. Right. Yeah, so um I I think the roof's supposed to be done next year. It's it's coming along okay. quite nicely. They added they added quite a bit of like support beams that go on the outside. It, it's it's quite it's quite impressive as someone who has experience in engineering. Um mm. also this uh, this month I went to two conventions. Uh, I went to really? yes, I went to the Retro Video Game Expo. Uh, sorry, mm-hmm. uh, the sorry, the Long Island Retro Video Game Expo, which was mm-hmm. in Long Island, obviously. Um, it was a it was a uh, it was a one day video game convention that was being um, that was uh, created by a uh, a friend of a friend. So I went. Um, mm-hmm. It was it was fun. It was a small little event. Um, I it looks like they got a lot of people, a lot more than they were expecting. So. Um, it looks like it was a success. Um, so yeah, that it was it was fun. Um, also, er, later in the month, I went to uh, AVGC, a video game con in um, Parisippany, New Jersey. 
mm-hmm. it is a uh, another one day uh, video game convention that was also having its first year. Um, and this convention was funded by Kickstarter. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, successfully funded by Kickstarter. Um, they had a they had a larger venue than the um, the Long Island Retro Video Game Expo, so it was it was bigger in size. They had more stuff, but uh, very enjoyable. They had a they had a nice selection of arcade machines. They had uh, people playing. How many like, people were there? I couldn't tell you. I I I I'd, I'd have to see if they provide a number, but I'm terrible at guessing numbers. I have often th- th- had that it, like in the back of my mind with other projects, which I'm sure you, in, you know what I'm thinking of, <laughs> whether or not that would be Ugh. successful. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. interesting. Yeah, I never fun. thought of doing that for that. So yeah. it was funny. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. It was. It was. They were, they were both very nice. I bought a bunch of old video games. Maybe more I think that's what I saw on Twitter because I didn't yeah. see the first one that you mentioned. Uh, yeah, um, I, I can link you to both video, uh, both pictures later. I bought a bunch of video games. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, including some that I had no idea what they were because they're Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you usually do that anyway. There's always like one WTF um, purchase. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one's even more so because it's like it's literally just like. I'm literally just like going through Famicom cartridges, just going, okay, this one doesn't look like an RPG, so I might be able to play it. <laughs> hey, I remember I had an import yeah. um, PS1 game, right. played the living crap out of it. The whole thing was in Japanese. That was Tobu, yeah. uh, Tobu 2. Oh, okay. All right. And that was like the one of the first, not the first, but one of the, uh, one of the first... Yeah. Um, uh, 3D fighting games, right? And they had like to this day probably one of the best uh, grappling systems um, okay. of its time. That was like the first time anybody oh, right. had okay. like a grappling system. Yeah, I know. What you're and talking about I that, played yeah. the living crap out of that thing until my uh, modded PS1 decided to go bye bye, and I couldn't right. play it again. And I'm like, ah, I had a Tobo, great soundtrack too. Tobo number one is the one that came with the Final Fantasy VII demo, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, that is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, and then I imported two, and two was actually better than one um, when okay. it came to the actual combat. But yes, oh my god, I can't believe you remember that. <laughs> well, what's even more impressive is that I didn't own a PlayStation, so I had a really so, no. I was N sixty four guy. I was team. I, we had everything. Yeah, it's it's when I met uh, my husband. It was that's how we figured out our nerd cred. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, because I was just, it, it, it's it's his yeah I know. <laughs> 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 All right, how old were you in 1996? <laughs> huh? Okay. Um. <laughs> ten. Hold on. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You were ten. <laughs> I was already in my twenties, and I was married yeah. in 1997. Exactly. You had you had more of an income <laughs> to work with. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So like when we met. Um, I didn't have any gaming systems because I grew up poor. So, yeah. <laughs> so all of a sudden I met him and he had everything. I was like, oh. And then he realized that I was a gamer. And then so that was like the end of that where he's like, okay, you can't get the ring on my finger fast enough. Exactly. <laughs> because all of a sudden time is like, oh, great. Now I have a wife that's going to be, you know, moaning and complaining about, uh, oh, you're constantly playing. And I'm like, no, get off the TV. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it was growing up in our house <laughs> oh that reminds me yeah. actually i do own the kinikun the first kinikun banzuke game i should play that again. really yeah yeah um how many of those were there i know there were uh, i think there were like two uh pro sportsman number ones the one that had see. paint on didn't cover i think there's three under the title kinikun banzuke okay. and i know there was a sasuke game for the ps1 Apparently, I'm, there's an um, there's. I know there's there's the there's the i there's the iPhone game which I own. Yeah, Challenger. Yeah, um, that's all right. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was the last gasp of the gasp of M nine trying to figure out how to get money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sadly, uh, yeah. The first, but the first Kenny Kubanza game, it's not easy, um, especially when you can't read the instruction booklet. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still I'm still trying to figure out how to play kick target. Um that's ah. the that's the soccer yeah. one. Yeah. 
Everything yep. else I've everything else I figured out, but that's the one game I can't figure out how to kick the ball in the air. I can only get the targets hmm. on the ground, so I got to figure that out still. Ask you, Bay. Uh, I will try that at some point. Yeah, oh. because I'm. Sh- I think a he has it, okay. or at least at least can read the monitors for you. Right. Okay. Well, I have the book so. too. I can always scan it in for him. He probably has a scan. That's the point. So. Oh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> and he All loves right. that kind of stuff. In fact, he, yeah. and actually, you might want to check his blogs, too, because I'm almost positive that he's written blogs on all of the games. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> have you seen footage from the PS1 uh, Sasuke game? Yes. Uh, yes. I, I love that the final stage is a sp- is in between two spaceships. <laughs> I rem- see that was the point because um, back again starting from like 2000 well for me it was late 2006 early 2007 um, I've been following Lost on Yube and Yube was constantly looking for all these things he had the scans of the mangas that they had um, you know Sasuke actually had a um, 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 a mascot uh, they yeah. had all kinds of things. So whenever he found any of that stuff, either you know through didn't he know, find their like, version um, of eBay and whatever? Oh, he found all playing, kinds of stuff. Didn't he find like a playing cards or something like that? Oh, he has some playing cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. From Th- that, that those was were, a sportsman. Those were cool. Yeah, that was what um, I believe in Sasuke Thirty was yeah. where Rio had showed his collection. Right. Okay. And so yeah. <laughs> it was funny because uh, Yubei's like. I want the Kankasugi cards. <laughs> I yeah. don't think he has the Kankasugi cards. Um, um, uh, or, um, Rio or um, or yeah. Um, I know. I th- I'm pretty sure Kane's in the first game. I know. Mm. Um, oh crap! What's his name? Um, the monkey Akira was it Akira Mori. <laughs> the monkey. <laughs> yeah, he's monkey, in it. Monkey. I'm pretty sure Shingo's in it too. In- really? Yeah, I think. I don't remember everyone else though because I didn't unlock all of them. I know the final the final unlockable character is the Daruma character, who is the mascot of Kinnikun Bad <laughs> Okay. So and, he, and like apparently he has like perfect stats, so like, you know, super OP. <laughs> Too OP, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um anyway. Uh that's not all I did this month. Um mm-hmm. this past month my family and I went on a trip to Las Vegas. That I did see. Yes. That was like out of nowhere. And I'm like, I hope you're not getting married. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the only reason the only reason it was out of nowhere is just because I didn't announce it ahead of time. It's yeah. literally as I'm getting on the plane, I'm like, oh, by the way, I'm going to Vegas. See ya. <laughs> yes, this is like, oh, no, actually, was no, so no, random. It wasn't, like, like, it wasn't even, it wasn't even before. I, w- I, I didn't announce it until I was in. It's when you arrived. I was in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. This, like, yeah like, this is oops, so. Oops, I'm that in Vegas. happened. Yeah. It's exactly what it's like, yeah, that happened. Well, here's the thing. You know you're in Vegas <laughs> when you're in the baggage claim area and there's slot machines. <laughs> I have never been that far west. Uh, let me let me tell you a few things about Las Vegas. <laughs> so, first off, I hate slot machines. I think they are terrible. They are not fun. Mm-hmm. They are freaking everywhere. Because mm-hmm. they are the easiest game to play. Yep, which is the easiest cash grab. Exactly. Second of all, and some of those are like really like in. Oh, second mm-hmm. of all, there is a slot machine based on everything. Yep. I saw slot machines based on Ghostbusters, Lord of the Rings, Jurassic Park, Monopoly, The Hangover, Bridesmaids, Sex in the City, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Betty Boop, The Adam West <laughs> Batman city- Series, the live action <laughs> Wonder Woman series from the 70s, and even. Hey, that's the best of all of them. <laughs> yeah, no. And even. There's a. I even saw a slot machine based on Groucho Marx. You bet your life, and I saw a slot machine based on the Powerball lottery. Are you freaking kidding me? I am not kidding. <laughs> oh my and god! And I'm sure there's there's and of course there's Wheel of Fortune, which is like the most famous slot machine that there is, because okay. like people have actually won millions off of that machine. Okay. Very few people, but people. Um, <laughs> Yes, um, off the blood money off of everybody else's <laughs> sales. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> because that's how they all works anyway. So Exactly. So, okay, number two. Um, I did not know this, but apparently in Las Vegas, you are allowed to carry an open container of alcohol. Really? The, uh, yeah, outside in the streets. Just just go ahead. You want to drink? Go ahead. Uh, and there's a lot of alcohol in Las Vegas. 
Uh, number <laughs> three. Um, Las Vegas is actually a lot more suburban than most people realize. Yeah. Be- because all they ever see, because all you ever see in media is the strip. And the strip are a bunch of very large buildings in a relatively small area surrounded by just regular housing. And the mountain, only reason, again, go back desert. to that tennis thing. Yeah. It's that's where Agassi was born and raised. There you go. So I heard all kinds of stories of what, you know, Vegas was like. And um, I actually have friends um, um, now that mm-hmm. live in Vegas and they tell me the whole thing. Yeah. It's just like, um, it's not just a strip. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> people actually live here. Normal people actually live here that have absolutely nothing yeah. to do with the yeah, casinos. Yeah, it's like uh, we, we visited, um, we have a little bit of, we have some family members uh, in Las Vegas, so... Well, they had a huge explosion of of um, construction yeah. and expansion in the two thousands. Yeah, and, and also, sadly, they got they got hit with the um, the real estate crash so really yeah. really hard. Yeah. Um, also, like I, um, also Nevada does not have a state tax on income because of those mm-hmm. casinos. Um, mm-hmm. We went to the red. Uh, Canyon Mountains. Um, they were very nice. They're very red. They look nice. Uh, <laughs> no, it was it was it was very cool. Um, it was very like it, it. You know, there's not a lot of like you know uh, pedestrianization in that area, so it's it was very much open wilderness and, and fields and stuff. Um, so that's that was what I've always thought of nice. of Vegas, where you have basically suburbia in the middle of wilderness slash yeah. desert depending on what side of the um the city you're in exactly and um you also did a pilgrimage to the holy land <laughs> which i find hilarious uh, because well, it was just as flat as uh <laughs> in, we'll, we'll get to that <laughs> in one second there's a few more points <laughs> i want to bring up <laughs> so um uh next funny, thing though. i learned so, okay, so here's a weird thing in new york mm-hmm. state it is actually illegal to have both a beer license and a liquor license. So, uh, in, in most in most stores here in New York, people generally go for the beer license because that's more profitable. Interesting. In Nevada, and apparently most states in the country, this is not the case. You can have both. So mm-hmm. it was a bit jarring going to places like CVS and, and Walgreens and seeing people, you know, seeing them sell both beer and you know vodka and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's a bit weird. Um, we uh, uh, apparently, I am really good at playing craps because I won two hundred dollars <laughs> as the shooter, and it was like I was really happy when I when it was all done. I'm like, holy crap, I actually won! And then I left because I knew you stay, exactly that's you're gonna exactly lose it. when you walk away. Exactly, I'm like, no all right, when I fold them, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> um. Also, we saw a couple of shows. We saw uh, Penn and Teller, which uh, mm-hmm. I really, I really like, um, and they were fun. Um, we saw, and we saw two uh, Cirque du Soleil shows. There's like seven in Las Vegas. It's crazy. Yeah. We saw Cirque du Soleil Love, which is based around the Beatles. Okay. Um, that was really, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and we also saw Cirque du Soleil Ka, which is like holy crap. Um, <laughs> Which is like holy crap. <laughs> well, 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 let's let's put it this way, um, like they advertised that the show had a sixty-five million dollar budget, and that's because it's because the stage areas are so mechanically complex. They are simple. Okay. That it's you have to see it to believe it. What's the theme? Uh, Ka is themed. It's um, I guess Asian warriors is like the best kind of like Chinese Asian okay. warriors. Yeah, it's um like like just there's one part where there's this staging platform that starts horizontal, and then it rotates vertical, and then like in like the bad guys appear and they're shooting arrows, and so mm-hmm. the staging like they they have pegs that pop out, and they have a battle on the pegs on this vertical platform. As it's rotating, <laughs> and this thing started horizontal, so it's it was it was amazing. It was it was easily the best show of the three that we saw, 
and it, it's yeah, it's money well spent because like holy cow, that was such a well produced show. Yeah, like <laughs> some of the things they did were amazing. Anyway, That's so cool. the last thing I want to talk about with Vegas that you may have alluded to. That's so Holy I was <laughs> so so I was so my parents asked, "Hey, is there anything you want to do during the day, William? Because like there's less things to do during the day than there is during yeah. the night in Vegas. Like you know, mm-hmm. we went on the roller coaster at New York, New York. That's that's a lot of fun. Um, and we did you know we did things. We checked out all the the hotels. We stayed at Treasure Planet. And I said, okay, look, it's an empty lot. I know it's an empty lot. We don't have to go if you don't want to. He's like, oh no no, we'll go. Okay." I want to see the location where they filmed American Ninja Warrior. Mm-hmm. So, so by foot, we made this uh, this uh, trip to to the scene of the crime, as I called it on Twitter. <laughs> which has it been in the same location for the three years? To my understanding, yes. Okay. It is an empty lot across the street from the Luxor Pyramid. You can see mm-hmm. the MGM Grand on one side of it. Um, it's it's towards one of the ends of the uh, of the strip. Um, if mm-hmm. you're, you know, it, it, whichever side the Luxor is on, north south, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like I saw that it's it's fenced off. Um, but yeah, I took a picture. I took a, a selfie. One of the rare instances of of me taking a selfie. So don't get, <laughs> don't get used to that. <laughs> But it's like it's like sounds like me. <laughs> but it's like, hey, how often am I going to be able to like go to this? Yeah. site? Because I'm not going to be a competitor anytime soon. Mm-hmm. Let's let's be honest here. <laughs> it, it, it's and I'm talking purely as like an ability perspective. Um, I know people have asked the same thing on on whether or not they can see Midoriyama. They're gonna have bigger issues because how it sits back. That at least you can see from the street. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's so it's, yeah. yeah. It's it's a lot. It's yeah. not up on a hill. No, <laughs> no. It's it's perfectly anyone can go there if they want to. It has an address mm-hmm. even. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, um, thank you to the people on SMF who showed me <laughs> where it was. It's in extreme detail. They had yes. it like on Google Maps and everything, yeah, which yeah. was the, awesome. The Google Maps was like the most helpful one. Well, uh, yeah, because that was yeah. oh, I'm on the wrong okay. side of the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's. I mean, I didn't even th- realize it until I had already gotten to Vegas. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I could actually do this. Yeah, yeah. that's actually cool. I'm yeah, like, you again, know, it was it was a cool thing. It was a cool thing. So anyway, I've done stuff fun. like that where yeah. I would go to, you know, this is where they taped blah, 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 or yeah. this show or this movie or whatever. Yeah. And so it's like, it's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what? We went there for um, a few days. Um, it was nice. It was enjoyable. Um, you know, we got our we got our fill of Vegas because um, because if you're not like if you're not a nightlife person, there's not as much things to do in Vegas. Mm-hmm. Also, it's really hot in Vegas. <laughs> Nagano went to the uh, aquarium and stayed indoors as much as possible when he was there. Yeah, like, I mean, the hottest was 108 degrees when I was there. Yeah. And I, it's Yeah, funny. but it's a dry heat. Nudge, yeah. nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I went into the pool uh, one one day when it was 108, and I'm like, you don't even have to dry off when you get out of the pool because within exactly five, within five minutes you'll be dry. Yeah, it's all good. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, fun time. I won money, so you know, take, take <laughs> that's that. actually be- the best Vegas yeah. vacation I've heard of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I had People fun and I won money. Married, like, what more can you ask lost for? Lost their mortgage. No, <laughs> actually, you know what? That's the thing. I, I had a budget for how much I expected to to spend at uh, at Vegas, and then when I came back with more money, I'm like, huh, well, I'm going to a convention next week. Mm-hmm. I'll just spend the money there. Yeah, that's actually a very smart for anything, even with conventions. Yeah, budget. Make yourself a budget as yeah, exactly. soon as you hit it. Just yeah. walk away. Exactly. And because that's how people, you know, get into severe financial trouble exactly. if they're not paying attention. And right. Yeah. <laughs> that is that is your life tip for of the month, kids. Yep. <laughs> no when to budget. So anyway, so it's it's kind of funny that I called um, the A and W site the scene of the crime. Yes. Uh, cause when I, cause when I made that tweet, I didn't know. I just want to put yeah. that out there. I didn't know. 
because I have. Well, you never know. That's how. That's yeah. that's your policy. You yeah. don't want to be spoiled. I. Yeah. I found out back in June when it happened simply right. because it wasn't because I wanted to know. Right. Um, per se, because all I wanted to know was to get the report on the world event, which has yet to even be announced, which is yeah. a little unusual because given yeah. the last couple of years, I thought it would have aired by now. See, but apparently they're moving yeah. it. That's the weird I'm actually kind of happy about it really? simply for because when you shove something right up against the new fall season, it's going to get obliterated. Even even yeah. when you're looking at the AW7 final, which at this point has been the best rated final that um AW has had right. given that it's always it always butts up against the fall season and usually it gets annihilated like third yeah. fourth place <laughs> that was in fact one I, of the years they lost to freaking Univision <laughs> that should give you an idea of how bad it was yeah. I mean but this year they were in yeah. second you know solid second but still oh, yeah. behind you know dancing with the stars yeah. so if they did that and then the following week going on the second week of dancing with the stars it did they were going to lose again. So if they yeah, exactly. pick a good a good week where there's very little competition, it'll actually rate well and people will... In, um, it always rates better by comparison yeah. to the regular season because that has a bigger audience to pull from because it is a world event. So you have, you know, like sort of like the mini Olympics type thing. Exactly. And there's, there's a certain demographic that just likes that type of thing rather than an American centric event. And so, and the season was so much better received in general outside of the last five minutes. <laughs> we'll get <laughs> where, to that. Right. <laughs> but <Hold> um, <laughs> it, it would be better to have it isolated onto itself so it would have its own dedicated ratings as opposed to oh i missed it because i was just skipping the end of that you know that yeah, sort of thing absolutely so you know th th we'll see what yeah. happens uh, yeah. with that if but i found out trying to get information on the world event yeah. and of course when you start running into the composition of teams you start running into you know who Who's the top people were exactly America, and then so yeah. i inadvertently got the story because that was the yeah the 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 talk at the world event on what happened the night before i actually don't know so. who i don't know like officially who who team america is i know i can i can guess based on I some of the results two of them <laughs> but but I, I honestly i don't know the rest of team america i just know those okay two. all right so anyway let me let me give a little backstory for for those who don't know like it because i don't know like maybe they they only watch sasuke and they, and they listen to this uh, podcast Mm -hmm. If you are one of those people, thank you for listening to this podcast. Um, <laughs> so, in between uh, the last podcast and this one, the Vegas episodes of American Ninja Warrior aired. And I will say, overall, a lot better than last year. Like, actually, I'll say they were good. A few, a few nitpicks here and there, but overall, I would say this was one of the good ones. So props for a and w overall overall um i've done uh i've done my live tweeting of it uh if anyone wants to look that up <laughs> um i said i said some things um that might have been not safe for work <laughs> not safe for work I mainly there was mainly at the production stuff which is things that i've talked about in the past uh yeah. and not yeah i don't need to get into that again mm -hmm. but um, other than say maybe, uh, you know, I, I would say maybe stage one and two should have their time limit. Well, stage two should definitely have its time limit had it, had its time limit decrease. But one a little bit, two a lot of it. But oh, overall, I enjoyed it. Um, and then we got to the final. Uh, actually, you know what? Before before we even do that, there is one interesting thing I want to bring about stage three. So. In their version of the cliffhanger, hmm. they decided to combine the ultimate cliffhanger with the crazy cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. And Drew, um, they had eight people in the third stage, and Drew Dreschler was actually one of them. Uh, which is actually, this is his first time making it to stage three in A&W. Okay. Um, so they show the test, the footage, when they're explaining the course, they show the footage of the tester running, running the obstacles. 
and take a guess how the tester does the crazy cliffhanger portion of the cliffhanger. I heard all about it. So they In fact, show for anybody that was having a, com- uh, a confusion as to what the big hub hub in Sasuke was, what was it that Drew Dreschel did? It's exactly how they did d- did turn around and jump forward. That oh was the God. thing that is banned in Sasuke. Oh my God! You should have seen my you should have seen my face when I saw the test. I didn't doing that. even watch the show, and all I saw was my Twitter feed explode. I had messages, I had emails, I had um, uh, tweets, I had private tweets, I had uh, the SMF messages, I had everything that, that anybody knows how to contact me. They just said. F this. <laughs> and they're like, they should have made him run. And then I had to basically relitigate Sasuke all over again. I'm like, I didn't even do this. <laughs> yeah. At the I same mean, time, so... everybody asked the same question. How thick was the ledge? It is and a the lot ledge, thicker. It, it is, is a, a lot, lot thicker. thicker. The original Not... ledge in in um also in A&W was five centimeters. I think it's thicker than five centimeters at that particular juncture. Also, also the, um, I don't know if you remember, but do you remember when I showed you Sam Sands? Um, yes. Okay. That landing rail that's rounded. Yeah. Um, th- they, that's what they used in the stage three of Vegas as well. Yeah. It's very thick and wide and yeah. And rounded. So like, it's mm-hmm. like grabbing a pipe. Yeah, and like and like using it for, like that's that's that was one of the nitpicks. It's because it's like like using that for the regional finals. It's like okay, fine, it's the regional finals. Who cares? But like kind of using that for stage three, I'm like, eh, that's a bit, it's a bit too easy, don't you think? But I well, know. at the same time, the argument before was that the uh, regional finals before was not an uh, an indication on how Vegas was. Yeah. Well, you can't say that anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that is true. So, too. That is that is true. Yeah. Too. So the, when I, you do guess, the comparison, is like yeah. it is a a proper qualification yeah. for the main event, and so yeah. you know, like a hater or whatever, um, the ledges are always thicker. Because yeah. um, American hands are much bigger, bodies are bigger. Man um, hands. But the one in Sasuke is three centimeters, which is right. what one and one quarter inches or something like that, or even less than that. Mm, yeah. Something like it's very, very, very thin, and yeah, on both sides, like there is no thicker on one side than it is the other. That is the ledge. Yeah. So I understand. I still don't have to like it, but I understand yeah. why the the rule is in Sasuke and not in A and W because the ledges are that you have a lot more to hang on to. There's it's a just, lot more that can that can fail on yeah. Sasuke because the ledge is so damn thin. It just caught me off guard when I saw the rail. Um, yeah, I didn't. Also, all I know also, is that everybody kept doing the nudge, nudge, wink, wink, arsenet, and I'm like, I'm not gonna watch it. I don't care what it is. So, like, but before it showed, because for I the know, people um, that have seen it while it was happening yeah. and they saw that happening, they're like, Did you hear from Drew? It's like, Drew doesn't talk to me. <laughs> Drew has never spoken to. I think he had like one message to me the entire time. And and that's it. He didn't talk to me really in 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 Sasuke either. So he wouldn't talk to me afterwards about something that makes it still makes him upset. He's still angry about what happened to him. I could and, only you know, imagine what yeah. his reaction was when he saw the tester doing it that way in A and W. F M L. I I imagine it was something like, oh come on. Yeah, that's why I said F M L. Yeah, no, it's just. <laughs> I, I yeah because I'm sitting there, I'm I'm thinking in my head like after everything was to and then um somebody did a screenshot and put it on the forums for us like yeah. of the NBC broadcast and so I'm looking at I just literally just went into hysterical laughter going now I understand what the Japanese were talking about if any of them had failed that ledge they have to walk home. <laughs> to yeah, Japan absolutely. from Vegas and yeah. quit Sasuke if you fail that ledge. <laughs> so here's here's because what's they even, can stand on the damn thing yeah. is so thick. <laughs> so here's what's even weirder about the whole crazy cliffhanger jump portion of yeah. of uh, the A and W course. So um, I believe five of the eight people was it six? A- anyway, five or six people. Mm. 
made it to I think it was yeah it was six made it to the actual crazy cliffhanger portion of the cliffhanger and of those people they all did the turnaround uh, technique with the exception of one and that being uh, Joe Morosky who uh, used the way that you have to do it in Japan okay and it was really weird watching it because the reaction by the announcers and this is one of those things where it's like i don't i don't <laughs> yeah. know if it's genuine or if they're being told to say this in post uh, but their general the reaction was like wait why is he doing it this way this doesn't make sense it's like i'm like oh my god imagine if they watched the japanese version or well, imagine- the point is they don't watch the japanese version so it would be something it's see it or, would actually it, imagine- no it's a little disingenuous because they have shown Yusuke Morimoto clearing okay. the um, uh, uh, back from Sasuke 29. That was just two yeah, years sure. ago. That, that he was just, the first one to pass the original yeah. crazy cliffhanger. Yeah, or it's just the real crazy cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> then isn't that even... Isn't there th- that weird obstacle in regionals called the crazy cliffhanger that looks nothing like that? Um, the year before so the obstacle what did they that call they call it? the crazy... Um, they called it the ultimate cliffhanger. Uh, um, in sta- in stage three, they called it the ultimate cliffhanger. In regional finals this year, they called it the crazy cliffhanger. The okay. crazy cliffhanger they had last year in regionals was like that weird ninety degree yeah. angle thing. That was yeah. just that was just a thing they called crazy cliffhanger. Then they reappropriated the name for like a version that is closer to the uh, Japanese version. I always kept thinking in my head that, you know, like Dragon Ball Z, because they're now like, you know, like God mode, Super Saiyan God mode, that sort of thing. And I was expecting like a name like that for uh, for the ultimate crazy, crazy in Japan. Ultimate the ultimate crazy, crazy God mode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't exactly. know. This is just throwing adjectives on the wall. Yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, Joe. Joe's the only one who did the uh, the, the Japanese way, and um, and to his credit, he defended his decision um, uh, perfectly. He basically mm-hmm. said, he basically said, "This is the way that I practice the move, so mm-hmm. that's the way I'm going to do it." Well, and that it, was also Drew's um, um, defense argument. as well in Japan. Like, yeah. That was how he trained. He trained yeah. um, uh, rotating uh, without the twist. Yeah. So, um, how many got? Th- so you said there were six that got to the cliffhanger, and how yeah, many passed? Yeah, four. Four. So I Isaac, four. Jeff, and who? Drew and Ian Dory. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, Drew failed the ascending cl- or the ascending climber, whatever the technical name is that in A and W. And Ian Dory failed the, um. Uh, flying bar. Okay. So anyway, uh, they had two people make it to the final stage in the form of mm-hmm. Isaac Calariano and Jeff Britton, which like they're both they're both impressive in their third stage run. Mm-hmm. And so they both run the final stage. And wait, wait! Before you even get to run to the final stage, what was the first words out of their mouths? The announcers. We're going to have, have a, a climb, climb off. off. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so right right when, because they showed Jeff Britton's run last for stage three. Right. And as, and, and as they're going to commercial break, they're saying, we're going to stage, we're going to the final stage and it's going to be a climb off. Now, I actually was spoiled that there were two winners uh, in A&W because my okay. brother my brother did not realize <laughs> that I didn't watch the final episode while we were in Vegas, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so he knew it spoiled it for me. <laughs> he spoiled it for me when we were driving home. It's like, oh, hey, look at this hey, meme photo. everybody did good and did not spoil it for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Your brother did that. It's hilarious. My brother. Anyway, so yeah, so the um, the final stage... The final stage itself was fine. It was a 75-foot rope climb in 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. That's fine. The presentation, everything about the presentation was weird. So the show claims that because Isaac Caliero uh, finished... Caldero. Th- Caliero, sorry. 
finished stage three faster, he got to choose if he went first or second. Correct. Now, I say the show claimed that because both Jeff and Isaac have said that that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. So I don't know why they felt the need to say that. They could have just said because, because Isaac... NBC. <laughs> that's, I know, that's but they, they could, they could have just said because Isaac ran no stage idea. three faster, which is the reason why. Just Any, yeah. Anyway. And so this Je- is... See, this was my... Even just before the final at all, that when you place the decision-making mechanism, whatever on the person you get these kind of problems because and then all of a sudden you start shifting blame on well he should have done uh first why didn't he do this you don't you don't change the order for situations like this yeah you just don't and then so the other thing on what the next thing you're going to go into i was not surprised this happened i wanted to see what was going to happen afterwards and how people were going to to uh, receive it because right. for the record whether I agree with it or not which I don't the the premise of there's only one winner and the premise that fastest gets the title has been in the uh, non-disclosure agreement the uh, NDA since a w one this is now seven years ago was it even A&W when they went to Sasuke? Yes, since A and W one. Ever since they they hmm. they NBC took over, it has been hmm. fastest. That's A&W, how you get. Ever A&W, since they had two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, that was well, what that was. That was A- two, two. Okay, so A- whenever was when whenever they had the physical amount of money, I believe yeah. I thought it was A and W two uh, one. But no, I mean, there was I mean, there was no prize for A and W one. It was just trying to get you go to Japan. To, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yeah. so whenever they introduced the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, which now seems paltry compared to the million dollars, yeah. But still, when it, as soon as they had the very first um, monetary prize, right, that was whoever is the fastest in the final right. gets that money. That has been there from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So and, whether and it was the- seven years, six years, five years, whatever. So it is not something that they came up last season. No. To their defense, because the producer also went on like going, they never expected that they would even use this clause. Yeah, so this was the worst possible thing that yeah. could happen with the competitors that they had. It's a perfect um, storm. Yeah, because because they had two competitors, and if none of them cleared the final stage, it would have been fine. They would have been like, oh, you know, we we were we came really close this year, but we still have no champion. Will someone win next year? I don't know. Find out next time on American Ninja Warrior. If only one person had cleared the final stage, that's also fine. Because then they would have been like, history has been made and we have a winner. Congratulations to so-and-so. Problem is, Mm -hmm. they both won. Yeah. And And the more specific thing after Jeff, what was heard? So, Jeff is interviewed. So, so Jeff goes first. He clears... Mm -hmm the final stage with less than one second left. I think it was like 0.35, something like ridiculously low. Mm-hmm. Still clear. Um, still clear, absolutely. Still clear. And in an interview, he said, I can't, like, he, he was like, I can't believe I just cleared the final stage. And at some point, I, th- I believe it was Eisman, he said that... Akbar. Je- uh, it was Akbar, okay. They, he said... He is the first American ninja warrior. Mm-hmm. And then Eisman's like, but we have one more person left to, to run the final stage. And that'd be mm-hmm. Isaac. And Isaac, who is a professional rock climber, who is really well known for climbing things really fast, uh, clears the final stage with about three seconds left. Mm-hmm. And he also becomes a, you know, the, a, an a, an American who clears all four stages and however because he finished the final stage faster he gets the money and all of a sudden he's he's the first American ninja warrior yeah which is a bit awkward for Jeff 
Well, it wasn't it's not. A bit, it's it was, a bit awkward for everyone. To give you an idea, um, when I was hearing the report on World, they couldn't stop talking about the A and W final because even people that were sitting in the stands were screaming WTF because yeah. they were happy. You know, there's nothing wrong with having two champions. No, because absolutely. There are two champions. I don't care if you're Isaac and you think you're the only person that won that thing. But there's two <laughs> champions. They both cleared it. Exactly. Now, rules-wise, there is only one that can receive a, a monetary prize and yeah. the same person will win a trophy. Yeah. Fine. Right. Whatever. Right. Um, I got to give Jeff an obscene amount of credit because from the get-go... I, t- like I, he took it extremely well. Yeah, because as far as he's concerned, because I've, I I sat and talked to him because, again, <laughs> as usual, anything that happens wrong, I start getting hate mail. It's like I'm somehow, you know, connected to the world of A&W and I am causing these, this firestorm to happen. I'm like, dude. It's, it's so your, I dude, sent him it's, a message. It's I wanted to talk Clearly. to... Yeah, I know. My, it's fault for everything. It's Friday, therefore it's my fault. So... Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I start getting hate mail and stuff I haven't even done. I'm like, dude, I wasn't even online yesterday. Why, yes, why'd you yes, cost? You. Come on, Arsenet. Why'd you cost I Jeff a million know. dollars? What, yeah. What's wrong with you? I dare to say the word ridiculous um, because it's an actual slang. Like, man, that was totally ridiculous. And then yeah, and I got like yeah, hate yeah, mail yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. <laughs> AW is freaking hard and that has been yes. established for several seasons. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I have gone on record to say it is a hell of a lot harder. Absolutely. So I talked to Jeff uh, privately um, just to just to see how he was doing. I was I'm like, you know, that was like really awkward. Are you OK? And he's like, dude, I don't care. I it's like as far as I'm concerned, I met my goal. That's never going to change. What NBC does with it is irrelevant. I'm happy. Personally, I did all of this work. I trained my freaking butt off. I could have fallen off of the third stage and I didn't. I'm really proud of myself to actually clear all four stages. Yeah, he, he came even really hinted close. That they may, he may <laughs> even retire, in which case NBC is probably going to have a freaking heart attack. Um, he hasn't decided yet. Um, he's kind of... Because... And I, I agree with his sentiment going, after everything you've gone through... And I mean everything, not just the physical going through all of it, but the aftermath and all of the interviews and and the backlash and Isaac's comments and whatever. Who wants to go through that again? So, (laughs) you know, everybody kept uh, reminding me of the Tomo interview because uh, Tomohiro Kaguchi, um, who is the uh, finalist for uh, Sasuke 30, and in 31 was in the third stage. He was the last person to compete in the, in 31 um, in third stage. And he had said, and he still to this day says it, the day that he wins Sasuke is the day he physically retires. That's it. He says it, 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 he can't even watch Sasuke. He, he, the way he watches Sasuke is sitting in the parking lot with his family trying to drown out the sound. Because it literally makes his stomach turn. He gets so nervous. Right. So I'm not I'm not sure if that's what happens with Jeff, but that's a lot of stress. And they're gonna they're told many times they're gonna have to go back to regionals, which I have a problem with. That's my own personal opinion of it. If you're a champion, once a champion, always a champion, period. Just is it gonna kill you to give you two wild cards to Vegas? They still have to pass the four stages in Vegas. Why are you putting them in regionals? Regionals is a qualifying event. I kind of figured if you won the year before, if you won at any point, you should just bypass and go to Vegas. So and now other uh, people are like, I know everybody I, has their own thing and it's fine. I am going but to he's, respectfully he's, disagree. Honestly, there's a lot of people, and I know I'm in the minority. That all I have to do is as good as SMF I, and see I, what the poll I, looks I, like. It's like, like a four to one margin. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but I think just because of how A and W is formatted, I feel like regionals are part of the pro. I I, I view A and W more like a six stage course than a four stage course. If you know, if, if, if you get what I'm mm-hmm. saying. So yeah, yeah. yeah but we've I, I always get what you're had saying, the disagreement. Will... Yeah, we've always had the yes. disagreement of the importance of the qualifying event. Yeah, because well, it's, no it's other become... sport, seriously, no. no other sport has this. 
Not, Zero. Yeah, it, you can't even name a sport. Nothing. Nothing's like it. Yeah. So in any other sport, you get seated if you compete and do well in the nationals, because yeah. that's basically how it works. Now, that doesn't mean that you know, it's like I've seen them be blown out on the first stage or first qualifying or whatever of, of you know, the main event. That is what it is. Jeff considered he disagrees with me in the sense that it would be good to have that kind of experience, making sure that he's up to snuff the year of the event going into Vegas, going, hey, I did this well in, in regionals. So I understand your point of view. I'm just saying it because, again, this is brand new territory. They've never had a champion before. Nope. I just found it. A little, well, especially with what they did in the final where you had, you know, <laughs> I, we'll, we can go into the second part of this conversation. The hate mail. It was yeah. Twitter. Was, it was freaking trending on how bad this final was received. Not the final itself. Yeah. What happened to Jeff trended in Twitter. Trended. They're like, what the hell was that <laughs> dude it's like here we are we waited seven seasons we can argue on whether or not it was actually four but anyway seven, seven seasons of a and w uh, of a and w they finally got a winner and you shafted one of them <laughs> i mean literally it's it, it was like the back slap heard around the world and then the worst part was um all of the the articles you know, freaking USA Today, the title oh, was, they finally God. win USA it, Today and the, the winner won one. zilch. No, no, that oh, wasn't no, even the worst. No, the, no um, that USA the Today one. actually said, no, the one that, the, that we're going to be discussing, which was a, yeah. an extremely well-written article, Um, who was I've, the one I've that seen wrote that? that? I have it up right now. That is the International Business Times. But yeah, it, I've seen articles that list... um. Isaac in in the headline as like the first winner and it's and it's like oh oh dear oh dear well that's what what happens when you print a press release yeah I and know, that's seriously if you go by the the straight rules that is correct whether yeah. we like it or not I know that is correct but but the however um, the, yes. yeah even with the their presentation business times yeah so go ahead. A, a, the International Business Times has a uh, a really well written article that um, has interviews with uh, Jeff Britton, Isaac Caldiero, as well as Joe Morosky, which uh, he brings up a different uh, interesting mm-hmm. point, which we might get to a little bit. So they both they both get interviewed about the situation. The, the The article talks about the what happened with the final stage and how you know they both cleared, but only Isaac got the money. Um, mm-hmm. Jeff brought up how in Japan, um, uh, if two people won, they both be declared champions. Which, like, I guess, it's just correct. to clear, yeah, just clear it up, that would happen, <clears throat> correct? That is correct, and there is precedent for, precedence for it. Yes. Uh, Kunoichi Eight, the last yes. one. As had, much as I uh, like to three forget wi- that one. Yeah, there are three <laughs> women in the final. One of them was disqualified. The other two won. Yeah. Oh God. And they both are considered. In fact, there have been events afterwards. Um, they went to Sasuke uh, at least three times after that, and each time they were on the start line, co-champion of Kunoichi. Kunoichi so there was sucks. never, yeah, there was never a delineation <laughs> of first winner, second winner, because there's a couple of reasons. One, they do not control the the start order. Right. Period. Right. So it'd be. It would be patently unfair <laughs> to say this is the first or second or the other one isn't or whatever. And besides, they were not going to not crown <laughs> Rai Komiya. <laughs> Rio well, was I, the I'll second. Say, yeah, she was pers- the last one to go up and she was the second champion. Personally, um, that's the one redeeming factor of Konishi 8. <laughs> 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 yeah, but the idea is it has happened before and... Um, and they have there is no stipulation that there is only one champion because the fastest rule is unique to NBC. 
Right. NBC was the only one that came up with that. Yeah. There is no fastest rule. If you clear within the time limit, it doesn't matter if you do it with a quarter yeah. of a second left, a hundredth of a thousand seconds left, or 45 seconds left. It's irrelevant. It's whether or not you cleared. It's a pass or fail, period. Exactly. exactly. And so, and they don't have, you know, because they have no fastest rule, therefore they also don't have the... Um, you know, this person is not a champion because exactly. this guy went faster. Because it, th- there are, there is no rule to apply. Right. It doesn't exist in Sasuke. Exactly. So had this happened in Japan, we would be having two champions. Okay. Now, they do not have the the exorbitant amount of money. I mean, it's a retarded amount of money. <laughs> It's a so lot of money. I know, and I know. I remember Inui writing this during this. This was happening, and he found out that they want a million dollars, and he goes, "That's a retarded amount of money." <laughs> and it's just it won't happen in Japan because they don't have a pay structure that way. It's just no. there's um, there's um, uh, Japanese- rules in in game shows. Yeah. You can't pass a certain amount of money, and that is by like ten times the amount. So yeah, Japan, the argument Japanese cannot be quite, but now they were paid the same amount, which is like, I don't know, like, I think at this point it's less than $20,000 and I'm sure after taxes you owe the money, <laughs> I don't know, yeah. but it's, it's, it's substantially smaller, but they both get it. Um, it, that again, it's, it's difficult to compare that portion of it, but I can emphatically defend that they will always be considered co-champions right. period okay so so, so mm-hmm. jeff in the interview um said that he you know he he considers um he says that basically said he is technically the first to do it just just yep. by technicality um and that you know he and he brings up sasuke like like we said mm-hmm. um Joe, they, they interviewed Joe Morosky. He said himself that he believes that Jeff is the first uh, champion, uh, the mm-hmm. first cl- person to clear. Um, and then they they interviewed uh, Isaac, <laughs> where he um, <clears throat> character assassinates so everybody will, else but himself. <laughs> I, I will. I, I'm going to read this verbatim in the article. There is no distinction. It's the same title, Caldero told IBT. There are pictures of me holding the trophy that says I'm the first American Ninja Warrior, which is true. That trophy does actually say first American Ninja Warrior on it. Yep. I think they are trying to give him a moment too because he does deserve it. But as far as the rules go, there is one title. It's an all or nothing deal. If you look at other sports, if Michael Phelps beats everyone in the Olympics by a fraction of the second, that's the way it is. Even if everyone else finishes the course. Ah, uh, there's boy. more to that. The thing that actually made my skin crawl, where he says uh, that Jeff doesn't deserve it. I. Uh, it's a little bit later on in the article. Yeah, my, uh, yeah. But regardless, his point is that NBC basically proved without a shadow of a doubt that he is the first. That is where he's incorrect. Because there wouldn't be half as much of a problem had it not been the NBC crowned by just the description of, you know, this is the first American Ninja Warrior when Jeff finished. So yeah. I don't think it would have been anywhere near the amount of fewer because no one else is privy to that NDA. No. No one else knows the in and out rules and yeah. whatever. We do the, because the, we're Sasuke maniacs. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we the read people, everything. The only people who know are the competitors and the people that are informed by the competitors. Yeah. Uh, it personally. So, like, most people watching were probably not aware of the rule. We were aware of the rule. Yeah. We never... I never liked the rule. I know, you know, for a fact... No, I never liked it either. That, <laughs> you didn't like the rule, but I, uh, for me personally, like I don't know about you, but personally, I just never thought this was going to happen. So I didn't. Neither did the producer. In fact, there's a yeah. separate article. Um, Absolutely. I'm not sure if it was USA Today or the New York Times. I don't remember. One of the every single major newspaper around the world had an article on this. It was mm. that big. Yeah. And so the um, I it was the executive producer uh, Kent. I'm so sorry about his last name. I don't know. I just remember Kent. Um, 
the the executive producer and he says by all honesty we really did not expect this scenario to to hash out changes will be made for the following year to avoid the confusion that it was this year it could be something simple as they're keeping the rule and they're just going to make it known so people won't freak out when something like that happens again or they will have a provision where you know somebody would get you know like in fact there's i think there's a um a crowdfund to have Jeff yes. uh, get there money. Is, there is a GoFundMe page uh, designed to, uh, in theory, raise a million dollars for Jeff Britton. Um, last I checked, they were at like 8000 I mean, I, I think... I, I don't think anyone realistically expected it to get to a million, but it's it's a nice thing that people in the community are doing because they are recognizing uh that jeff should get something Mm -hmm. um it is what's really interesting and i'm not going to give names but some of the reactions that i've seen from other a and w competitors on social media is very interesting Mm -hmm. so i've seen i've seen some of them passing around the link for for jeff um i've seen some prominent uh competitors uh especially one um uh say talk about how they never liked the uh you know if two people beat the final stage rule mm-hmm. and how it and it doesn't like that he that it's um is seemingly uh, tearing the community uh, uh, apart through through infighting and he thinks it sucks mm-hmm. i saw one person who has been prom- who has been featured uh, many years now um say that if that he would be willing to boycott the show if it meant that Jeff could get the money. And Jeff actually messaged that person saying, hey, I appreciate it, but you don't have to do that. I didn't hear that one. Um, like Again, I'm not going to say names, but it is something that I, hap- I happen to catch. There's been a... In- it's it's even, interesting. Yeah, even it's if you didn't mention who it was, that was... it. We had... I don't know, two solid weeks of back and forth between everything from the discussion of the rules, whether or not they were fair, regardless no. if they were fair, those are just the rules. Um, and But the bigger issue, the remedy of the situation. Now, yeah. I came up with one, um, there's a couple of ways. This is not good press. No. Regardless. Were they nope. the rules? Yes, yes, they were the rules. They were clearly stated when somebody signs the NDA, even if it's 40 God pages long, <laughs> it is, is an, that an, long? an ex, it, it's exhaustive. Oh. It's I about 40 pages long. long. Wow. There's, it's, it's broken up in four, uh, four, um, four sets. Right. You know, everything with location, image, marketing, um, the actual rules, and um, again, those, those are the four. And the, the one with the rules and whatever is like 28 pages long, 29 pages long. I printed it out. I needed it for a an, different reason, but whatever. That's an entirely separate conversation. But okay, I went through that. It, I was a secretary, a legal secretary for 11 years. I'm used to reading oh. contracts. So <laughs> I did not know that. So, yeah, it, it, I had a, we had a situation where um, in the NDA, it banned people to go to Sasuke. Because they uh, consider, yeah. to this day, they still consider Sasuke to be a competitive, a different show. And in which case, the anime. In, in the case <laughs> of in the case of Drew, he had to get permission to go. Right. For those, now, for those, from what for I those understand, wonder. it has it has eased up, so they no longer see Sasuke as an enemy, and you are allowed in there. But NBC, uh, TBS is the one that has to make the decision, and that's not quite clear cut. So we're still kind of, but it's not going to be a it's better. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Um, That's it's good. it's That's still good. a political thing, but that was the reason why I went and literally read every freaking line of that end of that contract. And that contract clearly, clearly, with the, the states, who gets the money, who gets the recognition, who's the, you know first American ninja warrior, and okay. you know. So from that aspect, I understand it. Now, from PR standpoint. It looks horrible. And there were several articles that said that the same thing. It's like, yeah, there may be the rules and whatever, but that looks bad. And A, for the record, these are not the Olympics. This is a made-for-TV event. It is not even a competition. It's a show. 
Right. So the idea that you would rate it as such is kind of unfair and kind of douchey if you really think about it. <laughs> Especially with what was else was written. And that was the that was the part that really pissed me off about that article and about the quote unquote winner. So, so I so the a, mm. the remedy that I had was there are two events that have not been aired. It is um, a, an all-star special, which has um, various um, um, American stars from different A&Ws, um, not just the most recent, in a separate competition. There, it's a modified course. Really? Um, oh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, I know, the, mm-hmm. I know one of the obstacles is a jump hang because Matt Eisman put a video of him like jumping into the water and there's a jump hang like in okay. Vegas so it's like obviously they added that obstacle cuz I am that was not sure that if was, any of that the was other not in are, stage 1. Yeah, I'm not sure if any of the other ones are. There's one famous one that I know is going to make people's jaw drop. I thought it was a little excessive, but whatever. And if you're not aware of it then I'm not going to bother spoiling it because again Wait, that's part talking, of the show. Are we talking so, obstacle or person? Oh, an obstacle. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. All right. So I, I'm not sure. I I think it was posted on Twitter. I uh, I don't follow a salmon ladder that has or... something like 40, 40 rungs. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It oh, crap. goes up for like several feet. It's just has someone. <laughs> hold on. Yeah. Has someone from A and W been reading the SMF forms? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's been I am suggested positive a few times. Oh, that we've already confirmed that both N- uh, NBC and TBS read it. Yeah, I know. It, it, I had so, no idea that they were gonna pull from something that is some of our obstacles. It's like, oh yeah, that that's so that's what they do. Put it in the middle of obstacles. final stage tower. Is that the? Is I, that have, the, the I honestly that's, that's, don't know. That All I know is that that was one of the obstacles. But it's it, again, it is that and the um, USA versus World. Right. So those two events have not even been announced, but they are definitely going to be airing. So one of the options that I had because. This is more of a PR problem as opposed yes. to a rules problem. So right. PR thing, and this can be easily done since they have done an obscene amount of post-production work on things that never happened. Lord knows with right. the USA versus World, they have rigged events yeah. to make sure it looks the way, mm. whatever the hell they want. So what they can do green, is green have a small European. little blurb. Yeah. And because they're both <laughs> in that event anyway... Because that's how obviously. historically, obviously, th- yeah. obviously, they're both in the event, like right. So they can on. literally have a small little blurb where either they give them a small trophy or, hey, here's a card donated by Dodge Ram. You know, what I mean, it's just stuff like that, oh, the, a sponsored thing. Because here's, ultimately, here's a that's lifetime where the supply m- of Palm Wonderful. Exactly. Give them potato There's- chips. I don't care, but it. A well, physical no, recognition Palm, Palm of, like yes, you are sponsor. an American Ninja Warrior. You may not be the quote-unquote first, right? although I we all agree that he is the first. Whether or not he was the ultimate winner is an entirely separate conversation. Have something because the community is royally pissed that he was just left out in the cold. Not just the community, the casual audience as well. And they're the ones that ultimately control the ratings. There are people that have already said that they're planning to boycott this event because if this is the bulk, why should they enter? Because even winning the event doesn't make you win the event. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I, yeah. So that's it's, what um, that's the image problem actually, that they're having right now. So they can is, easily correct that again, and it yeah. doesn't even have to be monetary. Jeff doesn't even care. No. Seriously, he doesn't care about the money. He is happy that you know, you know, it, it, he's happy that he did it himself, regardless there of what visual, extra crap. Yeah, there is visual proof that he was the first person on top of the tower. Hmm. And I, that's all he needs in his mind. And, and whether Akbar misspoke or whatever, a, he was announced is, to everybody else that he is the first American Ninja Warrior. And as far as everybody is concerned, yes, he was the first. So all they need to do is just a small little blurb. The thing doesn't even have to be longer than two minutes. Shove that in the beginning of the competition or even as part of his his, uh, fluff piece piece intro. Exactly. Something small as a gimme to the community going, yes, we recognize 
and we're not we patronizing you. We up. know what you <laughs> saw and we agree with you and just move on. And it can exactly. be as short as two minutes and that would literally calm everything down. Whether or not they do it or not, personally, I think they should because from a sponsorship uh, standpoint, they got a lot of flack because ultimately the sponsors are the ones that give the money. So Absolutely. if they believe, if, if people believe, which is the prevailing thought of all the casuals, that they are a part of the problem, that is not PR that they want. Mm -hmm. So if they can just do a small appeasement, whatever, I don't care. Even if it's just, hey, I know you did great and, you know, you're your first American Ninja Warrior, you know, oh, maybe next year you can win the million dollar prize, whatever, something, anything to at least acknowledge right. what he did. He passed all four stages. No one up to that moment in time had ever done it. Period. Right. Right. And whether Isaac went second or it, it doesn't matter. If Isaac was the first one that went up there and and whatever, and it still, whoever was, it doesn't even matter who the person was. The first person that went out there should be the quote unquote first. That's how right. that works. So yeah. it's just, it just gets a little frustrating looking at it. And mm -hmm. I'm happy at least because I knew that going into the broadcast, so I, I again I don't watch the show. So all I was I was sitting there going I'm looking at the time going waiting, waiting. Whoo! It's trending. Did it happen? Wait. Yep, it happened. Okay. Okay. Jeff went up. All right. Let's see Isaac waiting. And then you just had like the WTFs and you know FMBC and all this extra expletive language or what did I just watch and. No, he won too, right? Right? <laughs> and then you had yeah. the people trying to figure out, what did I just watch? And then I read the article because all the articles are basically front loaded. Like they know before it airs what happens because 95% yeah, yeah. of them are there when it happens and they have to hold whatever press until it physically airs because that's just how. Um, yeah, absolutely. Those yeah. So. Yeah. And they were all sitting there, you know, calling BS, you know, and yeah, it was just, it was just painful to watch. And then the thing that I had the biggest problem was people were using Sasuke as, um, incorrectly because there's like, oh, well, you know, this wouldn't happen in Sasuke. And I'm like, yeah, this really wouldn't happen in Sasuke because both will be champions. So they were incorrectly using their rules because they were saying that this would not have happened in Sasuke. There would have been one winner and that's it. And they only give money. To no, that is not correct. So that was the only part where all of a sudden I started getting, you know, um, trying to be a bit more vocal about it. And I started posting about it. And that's why I did those standalone tweets. Because it's like it has happened in Sasuke before and they're double champions. The thing that hasn't happened is that extraordinary amount of money. I honestly don't know what would they they would have done if the prize money was as big. They might have done the same thing as NBC. It's never happened and it never will happen because they don't have that kind of money. But they in terms of just straight recognition, that, that has happened before and you are co-champion regardless of what the financial f windfall would be. You're still co-champion yeah. and you will always be co-champion. There's never a point where they just don't say that you were co-champion because you're they're still acknowledging that somebody else has has um has become champion. And there's nothing right. wrong with saying I am the champion of of uh, Ninja Warrior. So so the the one line that I was really upset about where he, sh you know, that Jeff should not uh, refer himself to being a champion because he's not is bullcrap. And that's yeah. the thing that I have the biggest problem because it, like, and that's not even, you know, um, the personalities and no, that is just a factually wrong statement. You can't say that. I don't know how or why Isaac felt that he needed to disparage someone else's character in order to make himself look bigger. No one can ever win that type of argument. 
So it makes him look worse than, like, I didn't have an opinion of Isaac. I have no idea who Isaac is. But I did not like that. And if that was the, if that is what his personality is, where he felt that he had to character assassinate somebody in order to make himself look good, then I don't like him. I don't care what he did. You don't do that. That is not sportsmanship. And I have a severe problem with anybody that does that regardless of what show it is can't you just be champion and be happy of what you did and just say i am not in control of what happens to somebody else you can only control yourself and let the politics play out he didn't have to go there and that's what i had the biggest problem with the entire thing rules wise it was perfectly clear we know what happened television wise and how it was presented and all of the confusion around it that was clear too <laughs> But he didn't have to go there, and that's why I have such a strong resentment over what happened. And this happened, what, a week after? Jeff didn't even know until he read the freaking article. He was yeah. like, really? That's a shame, because I didn't have that type of opinion of him. But I may think of it differently after reading that. And everybody yeah. praised that that was a misquote. Only problem is, it's been reprinted in God knows how many articles afterwards. Yeah. I don't know if he has done multiple articles or if that was just because that it's difficult to tell with this day and age whenever you have an article there's plenty of them that people piggyback and go you know and you see in the bottom source you know XYZ you know magazine online and then there are other times where they actually had an interview and then once you do several <laughs> interviews in a row you just start repeating yourself so I don't right. know if that statement was either out of context although it's impossible to take that out of context um, misquoted or if it was repeated as a misquote all over and over again from all accounts from, from what I'm hearing that was not a misquote and that was not a mischaracterization of how he feels I just vehemently disagree with his position and he didn't need to go there so that's it <laughs> so look forward to him in Sasuke no I'm kidding okay, okay, let's, uh, moving on he anyway. has gone on, on record I believe it was in the they, USA they, today um, he has gone on record that he wanted to go to uh, to Japan, Japan to pay they, honor they, uh, to the to the Japanese roots. They both they both said it, but yeah, um, yeah. I don't think it's going to happen for several reasons. No. What do you think are the reasons? Is it political, and does it involve TBS? Well, yeah. Well, the bigger issue is this. And NBC does it has NBC also. Well, of course, it would have to involve yeah. NBC because those are their champions going into the other Cause, show. Because they want to be involved with the production of Sasuke. Then, if their champions are competing on the show, well, that is part of it. But the bigger issue is, why would you put them in a show that you have zero interest in showing domestically in the United States? They made a conscious yeah, decision four years ago to remove Ninja Warrior from the domestic market. So I yeah, would find it highly hypocritical if they send their champion over to Japan and have zero interest in actually showing that event legally here in the United States. Mm -hmm. So I don't care if Isaac goes to, to Japan. If he wants to go and NBC sends him, God bless him. I'm not going to stop him from doing that. I hope Jeff goes as well. My personal preference, given all of it, that Jeff would be the one going and not Isaac. But I'm not going to go there. It's just like, it, it doesn't matter. If he wants to go, that'd be great. I would prefer to NBC not take things over, but you and I already know that they would do that. The other thing, though, if it means that it will bring Sasuke back to the United States, then I'm all for it. Yeah, because I people just want that. to see I don't care I've been saying this forever throw it on Esquire if you really don't want to sully the Japanese you know sully yourself with a Japanese show on national television then fine throw it on cable network nobody watches that channel anyway but at least people that wanted to see it will have access <laughs> to it go ahead and do it G4 had what I think at most was like 200,000 people watching Maybe the lowest 300. rated network on television. Right. But people still saw it. And it, there are ways yes. to get it. They can see it online. Whatever. They will still support the show. Yeah. Give us at least an option of seeing both. Yeah. So, so that's my bigger issue with if right. they want to do that. If they don't do that, 
then I have a much bigger issue. I don't want them anywhere near Sasuke if they have no interest in showing that same event back in the United States. Then, they don't, well, then NBC does not belong in, in Sasuke at all. Yeah. Period. Well, if that's, that's the case. Well, that, this is all hypothetical at this point, so... Yeah, we'll considering just have we're to. still trying to figure out if there is going to be a Sasuke 32, but that's an yeah, entirely separate that's, subject. That's another story. Yeah. Uh, just one, one final note with this whole backlash stuff. Uh, one thing that was mentioned in the uh, International Business Time article was um, when they were interv- uh, interviewing uh, Joe Morosky, he mentioned that it's a that the American Ninja Warrior is a bit um, hard on the competitors' uh, personal lives because they're putting all this effort into a show that admittedly asks more out of them than Sasuke does just because yes. it's, it's more taping days. Yes. And that with the exception of... The fastest time in both regional in both the regional qualifiers and regional finals, there's no cash prize unless you win, and that is where I disagree it, with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not even saying I disagree. I, I agree with him either. It's just it's an interesting mindset, and it would be interesting between the backlash at what happened to Jeff and people feeling like maybe this isn't worth it it would be interesting to see what would happen if some of their more prominently featured competitors decide to just not do the show anymore well like ask if any team tempest is still on there how many how many um you know professionals dropped out of the show it's (laughs) <laughs> it's a bit different because they dropped out before A and W got a lot bigger on the NBC stage. Yeah, but at the same time, I they dropped know. out on uh, they dropped out on moral grounds for that exact reason. Yeah, no, I, they, I understand that exactly, role yeah. has been there for as long as forever, yeah. and and how they're treated because the competitors are basically fodder to them. We've established ba- that yeah. many times, yeah, and yeah. especially with what I'm, they do I'm with Jeff, it really isolates that yes. point. <laughs> basically, what I'm saying is, what would happen if, like, Casey dropped out? Because that's, like, other than, like, maybe Isaac next season, Casey's still, like, just one of their biggest cash cows and just in terms of who they but feature. she is not physically paid to be on the show and she never will i know the difference is and i think he's convoluting two different things there's nothing wrong with somebody wants to be sponsored I don't like know. like they would pick up sponsorship badge. like hey you know start wearing you know yeah. nike shoes or or whatever you know um rock climbing clothing and whatever that's a separate thing because at that point you're literally having an argument between a um an athlete that is yeah. olympic qualified you know amateur and olympic and and, and and professional where the professionals are physically paid for their time the show mm-hmm. by its nature the whole point of it is that you are an unpaid non-celebrity. Sure, they have celebrities and whatever, and they're paid fees to do so. If he's trying to make himself a celebrity, that, I think that's well, a separate uh, conversation. Because I think that's what, the, what he's yeah. trying to say. Basically, we've become celebrities. We are basically mm-hmm. the point of show. But the, yeah. but the argument against it is that NBC has never done that. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. you've gotten to the point where you had people that were much bigger than him, like all of the Sasuke uh, competitors that have done better than him overall in Sasuke, that are constantly being cut from the show. Like, it's yeah. it's almost a joke. It's like, look what they did to um, uh, Drew Dreschel. Yeah, yeah. They f- yeah. It, 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 it was like all of a sudden, just... wait, how did he end up here? Because they cut him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's very interesting just because like compared to American television, there's mm-hmm. there's nothing like it because there is no game show or reality show where you can compete in the every season hypothetically. Well, there are so it's even a different reality. Okay, because A and W is now shows. an A and it has been a reality show for a long time yeah 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 I, yeah, that's how even, we always compared yeah. Sasuke to A&W A&W is the reality show and Sasuke is a competition even compared to like other shows like Survivor like you don't have the same group of people the very next season unless they do the occasional all-star season but it's generally like you know, it's, but they're it's not rotating. paid. That's the whole point, and that's why reality shows well, existed as big as they were because actually, actually it's, they are paid in Survivor. But anyway, well, it's um, a, oh, okay. 
everyone gets money on that show depending on their placing but that's the different conversation mm-hmm. um i did that it's <laughs> yeah yeah uh last place gets a thousand second place gets a hundred grand and everyone else gets scaled in between that okay um uh so it's 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 an interesting situation um it, it, you know if they had to hypothetically start from scratch with like uh featuring competitors i imagine they would just truck ahead and just you know be like uh here's the new chosen ones that we're going to feature um it's an yeah. interesting situation that they have and it'd be nice if they did something to at least get themselves but they some do good PR. see that's the point they do and that's an um if you did very very well in regionals you if you were the fastest or whatever you get a prize that doesn't even exist in sasuke yeah, there is but, no here here's a little bit of chunk oh, no, change no, no, no. or whatever is that yeah. people have sacrificed careers for this just look at yamada yes. yeah yeah um also actually it, it is worth mentioning that like w- with the whole money talk um mm-hmm. Moroski did bring up that like the money is not the top priority. It's just a thing that was brought up. So I think just I understand just, his perspective just, just in the sense <laughs> of in the sense of respect the people that made this show. The yeah, show was, would be nothing yeah. without the athletes. So I understand yeah, his point of view with that. I disagree with the monetary compensation, but I do agree and understand because that has been a problem, f- even from a casual perspective, going, wait, why wasn't, you know, XYZ shown? Remember, yeah. I don't know many of the... So people yeah, yeah, that yeah. were heavily favored the year before, all of a sudden they were in the event the following year, but they were caught. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. why I said that this show's a revolving door because they don't even respect their own competitors. And anybody that says so is either shilling for them or they're NBC. Because it is patently clear that they have zero respect for their own competitors. Because if they did, they would actually show them. They would actually feature them going, oh, well, this year he didn't do that well and whatever. And that's all people wanted to see. Oh, well, he fell in the second obstacle. That's why we just, you know, that was one of the reasons why we wanted to cut him. But because he's a fan favorite, let's show where he failed. Oh, that's a shame. And then move on. I don't think people would be anywhere near as upset. The problem is that they spend so much time on the fluff pieces. But that's, again, a format of the show. And that's that's been beaten like a dead horse. But... Especially I understand Moroski's point of view from <laughs> from the perspective of athlete respect. Yes, I agree with him. Monetary compensation, I do not agree with him. Mm. Although I see why he said what he did um, as you explain it. When I read it, I read it a little bit differently. So from that's how I'm splitting the... Uh, that's how I'm parsing the, what he had said. Agree with one end, don't agree with the other. Yeah, it's... It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, but yeah. Um, but like I, but like I said, this is... It. Yeah, but like I said, this is literally the worst thing that could have happened to them. Yeah. And it was... <laughs> from a gaming perspective, it was like the last uh, last 15 minutes of Mass Effect. <laughs> where everybody loved the entire series until the last few minutes going, Why did you do that? You had it. It was just... You were there. You had it. And then you just dropped the ball. You were in the end zone. <laughs> and you wanted to I'm spike gonna, the ball before you even grabbed it. <laughs> I'm going to take your word for it. Because it's I the idea of, of the you had a huge fan I, I, uproar I'm, I'm, over I'm, I'm, something I'm, that they botched at I'm the fam- end. Yeah. I'm yeah. familiar with the, uh, with the backlash at Mass Effect. And yeah, actually, that is very much similar to what happened with vegas this year and that it was overall pretty good but then it fumbled at the five yard line super exactly hard. it's like <laughs> they were ready to spike the ball and they had forgot that they yeah. needed to do and that they needed to do a um a touchdown it's like uh it's like <laughs> when the giants played the cowboys a couple of weeks ago it's like <laughs> they were about to win but then eli decided to just not score for some reason <laughs> that that I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna get into this podcast, but that is a thing that happened, and I don't know why Sweetie, that you thought that was a good idea. I was born like he, and he, raised he had a in choice. Philadelphia. Should I? I'm should in I, Phil- Should I score Eagles. a touchdown or should we not? I'm and in Eagles territory. Not. You should understand no. anything from Philly. You you have to watch to the last second because they will find a way to lose. <laughs> 
They will find a way. So yeah, that was basically that in a nutshell. Going, everything was fine all the way until you, you went there, didn't you? Messed really? It. Anyway. <laughs> so, but oh man, it's still it was watched by six point something million people. Uh, again, it Which was solid off. second. They still had um, the the highest rated to that point because in mm-hmm. previous years they did not do well with the Vegas um, um, shows. Because they cause just so didn't. Late. No, no, they're different. People oh, yeah, liked the regionals, and then they got. To, remember the arguments before were regionals and Vegas were so so far apart in mm. difficulty you just set them out to sail so people just started boycotting the um well, the vegas um it, event it because also, they were like it's it like also, that's bull crap it also doesn't help that they screwed up two of the vegas courses mechanically but that's right but story. either way so this <laughs> year was the best received um they actually won their time yeah. slots uh the couple weeks before but again when you have a season so damn long that it runs up against the uh the uh, the fall lineup, you're gonna have that problem. Even yeah. if they cut by one week, they would have Which had a number could've. one show. They could have. They, they didn't have they to do a, re- a review. Yeah, just no. drop Why did the they do repeat. a recap show. Why did you do a recap show? Nobody watches recap shows. They I didn't watch it. Even, I skipped it. Yeah, and, and, and ratings actually reflected that. Yeah. Just Why just cut it. That? Just literally pull it to the week before, and you will guarantee yourself first place. Just it wasn't you even guarantee yourself first place. They even lost anyway. the. Uh, they even lost the week when um when the Miss America um pageant or Miss Universe one of those was was pulled from NBC. They could have put it on there. It's like oh good yeah, lord. But anyway, any, anyway, so either way, so, they have the potential yeah. to actually fix it. Yes. Even if it's There's even if it's just a PR patch, just put a band aid over yeah. it. It's it's the thought that would matter, yeah. and the whole point is. Don't patronize your, your your viewers. These are the people that are basically yeah. buttering your bread right now, and if they yeah. see that they are not being, um, what's the phrase I'm looking for? It, it, don't uh, make them out to be liars because they saw what they saw, and they're yeah. not like us. We're you know constantly looking at things. So th- these are your fans. These are the people that have been watching week in and week out. Don't slap them across the face with something like that. And it could be easily remedied with, okay, yes, he's first champion. No, he's not getting the money. Or here, we'll send him out to Universal Studios and whatever, sponsored by blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's yeah, sort of like, exactly talking about. A- acknowledge that he also did the same thing. Acknowledge that he passed all four stages and he is worthy of being called an American Ninja Warrior. Because it's just like, is anyway yep rehashing over and over but yeah they, so they can fix it and then we'll see what happens so they have two yeah. chances to fix it the um all-star special and the a and w um verse uh, uh usa versus world right. we'll see speaking of the world <laughs> and and sasuke because worldwide shipping <laughs> oh my god uh no that's the next one what you wanted to do a, you wanted to do a quick update about China? ah yeah 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 well i was so excited about the other one i forgot well, well i had it flipped on my list and i forgot that we actually were gonna flip it around but well, anyway the, do you want to um, end this on x warrior really yeah see x <laughs> Let's, let's end it on something happy. Let's, okay, yeah, this is true. It's absolutely true, and I am totally going for that. Okay. All right. So I mentioned last time that um, I was going to have an update on on the Sasuke China X Warrior debacle thingy. Um, now we have an update. We have sort of an update. Um, let's they let's put, throw I it to Chinese sh- field reporter Arsenal. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> for Kuisan. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the... There were two, I think there were two more shows that were aired under the Sasuke name, both painfully boring. Um, but that's still the end of the, basically the X warrior setup. And then they're going to have a world event, sort of, kind of in a way. They have multiple teams. Um, some of them you can surmise who's going to be on the team, but if you watch a lot of, um, um, 
what's it called uh um social media oh right okay so you know you'll have uh brent and casey and although I'm, i don't think casey competed i'm not sure um brent definitely yeah. um brian orosco uh kevin dollard and not kevin that's not kevin evan Evan. Evan, thank you. This isn't that doesn't sound right. Like my head's going ding ding ding. That's minute. wrong. <laughs> thank you, Evan hey, Dollard. Hey, make, and he's the first. He's the first American Gladiators champion in the re, in the remake version. Let's make sure we we treat him with respect. I like him. He's a really cool I like dude. Him, no. I like him too. That's why I watch him with respect. <laughs> that's why in my head I'm thinking, no, that's not his name. What is his name? I, I met, it's I not met his him. Name. I, uh, I got I most of his name was, right. Yeah. My apologies met, to Evan Dollard. Yeah. <laughs> I know what your name is and my brain is too freaking tired I, uh, trying to come I, up with I, it. Uh, I met him when I went to the Pro Ninja Warrior event. He's a super chill dude. Cool. And so, he's super willing to talk about... Um, uh, the set of American Gladiators and whether or not Hulk Hogan was a cool person. <laughs> apparently, he, apparently Hulk Hogan's a cool person on set, but apparently he's not always a cool person as recent events have revealed, but enough about that. Yeah. <laughs> China. <laughs> you know the phrase, you never want to meet your uh, your heroes. <laughs> that unfortunately happens to be true a lot. Especially if you're black. <sighs> so, <laughs> anyway. Um, what's it called? So, that's happening, I believe, as we speak. It's happening okay. this week, and from everything that I'm being told, it will be air. It will be on YouTube very, very quickly. It may be okay. as I maybe the following week after this thing is up, or two weeks after that. But it should be very, very close. I'm not right. sure the the length of it. They might break it up because they're um they're multiple matchups. So um, oh, there's sure. several teams. Um, there's only one thing I can confirm: Team Japan is not a part of an, of this competition. And the only way that Aww. I can explain this is politics. It, well, look at the history of the show. They were first a rip yeah, off. I no, yeah. I, I, so I, yeah. I so but, so no. let's just say the 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 uh, the the transition from rip off to legal was on a technical level and they don't like each other <laughs> the, com the competitors have nothing to do with this this is all politics so as so a result tbs did not case. send team japan yeah so what you're saying is this is a case of i don't like you but i like your money in a way in a way because it was mostly from china believe it or not hmm Let's just say that anybody that has any kind of world politics view can understand mm. the problems mm. between China and Japan. <laughs> Let's I, just say that translated I, here uh, as well. There's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I get what you're going at. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there is no Team Japan, but there is a Team USA. Mm. Right. And um, there are several, um, uh, sev obviously China, and several other teams i was n i didn't get full set up at the same time, time. Yeah, well <laughs> i wasn't interested <laughs> okay <laughs> it's just i out of all so, of the shows so look that have been aired next month on youtube with our full review of the so x warrior uh yeah well by that point <laughs> well, i'm kidding i'm kidding I, i'll go over it i'm not just making, in I'm, general i'm not making promises yeah, I'm not making promises on that. You won't. It, it's tied to A and W for several reasons. One, they that's the course they ripped off, <laughs> yeah. and the Somehow. other one was it also has um, um, ex Sasuke competitors in uh, Brian Orozco and there Brent uh, Stephenson. So that those two are yeah. I'm not again. I'm not sure. Oh, and the full actually, and Evan teams. Dollard. Evan Dollar was there too. He was not in Sasuke. He was in Sas yes, he was. No, he wasn't. He was he was part because uh, he was one of the people from A N W two to go to Sasuke. He was in Sasuke. Wow, has Whichever. my mind completely erased that from memory? <laughs> yeah, no, he was there. He failed the uh, rolling S car go. My apologies to Evan Dodd. Man, <laughs> I can't literally... remember his name. You can't remember the fact that he went to Japan. Look, everybody is already understands was, um, that whenever 20, NBC 20, and Sasuke are concerned, my skin four. starts to crawl and I just go, mm -hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> so again, my was... apologies to Evan. I completely oh. forget. Yeah, I did forget that. Yeah. I did I'm just trying to remember which that. one it was. Which I, one had, had the rolling escargo? That was Tusca first. 28. That's the one they were in. No, 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 no. I take no. that back entirely. That was uh, yeah, 20. Wait. They were there. 27 was the last one. Right. And was he part of the. No. It was 27 was part or 20. It was 26. 24. Maybe. No, they were not part of 24. It was in the it was summertime. So it was either 23. 26. It was 26. 26. I just looked it up. Rolling S Cargo debuted in 26. So yeah, the, I was trying to figure out because A and W still had right. the yearly schedule, and they always right. did it during summer. So I was starting. I'm starting to count backwards. Going as a K twenty five. Mm-hmm. Nobody showed up in twenty five. Uh, twenty four. Actually, there were a couple. Yeah, they were in twenty. A and W one was twenty four. Twenty five is when Rich. No, they weren't in twenty four. They were not in twenty four. That was the five hour mm-hmm. event um, where Yuji won. No, they were not in twenty four. Uh, they were in 23, then? Yes. They were in 23. Mm-hmm. And then they were in 26. Yeah, because uh, tw- 24 was in January, 25 was, was in March. That was why right. the, the ratings were so low, because right. it was like three months afterwards. People had no idea that the event was there. And then, yeah, and the 26 was like October that aired. Um, yeah, that aired. Like that. Well, either way, it, it was, yeah, it was, that was the year. And then the following year was the, the, was, um, the last one that was uh, anyway. taped in July, aired in the United States in August, and then aired in October um, right. in Japan. Yeah, that was the one that yeah. I really have struck from my memory. <laughs> and this ends the American Ninja Warrior history section. <laughs> Um, that was actually Sasuke any- section as well because that was the whole point of yeah, okay. connecting of those competitors. Yeah, yeah. So I may so do that just is, because, see. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> is there anything else? Uh, is there anything else worth mentioning about China? Uh, no. X Warrior wise, I mean, there's a lot, there's lots of things you can talk about China. Not necessarily, um, because it's going to be a different course because it's in a different location. If I'm not mistaken, okay. and I may be incorrect in this, but I'm not mistaken, this is in Beijing. While okay. the other ones were um, in a different location down south. I may be incorrect okay. on that, but yeah. So, mm. but in terms of people have seen, the, the old the old show is still there. They had a, um, some foreigners from different other countries. Because you can, oh you can still go to the thing. It's just... Watch. Um, yeah. Watch. The, uh, the Chinese course is just going to be the Vegas course, but poorly done. Yeah. Look, when you have Sasuke Vietnam being more entertaining even with their um unique sound effects yes <laughs> oh and for the record that's also tied to sasuke um um sasuke vietnam who also has the shows on youtube worldwide that everybody can see it um Yay. that is one thing that i do like because even the china one regardless of whether i find it boring or not is available worldwide on the, on youtube so if you want to go yeah. watch it laugh at it or whatever yeah. there you go and you can see you can see casey there too yeah. <laughs> it's fact she was in the second episode i believe so yeah yeah brent and casey were in the second episode so yeah. that's still on youtube and um uh, so is saska vietnam so saska vietnam yeah. had um, also sort of like a team competition. It was a little weird how that had set up. Mm-hmm. And that was where, um, Rio, Rio, I can't pronounce his first name correctly. I still keep calling him Rio and that's not his name. Last name, Matachi. So Matachi also, um, did all four stages, uh, and completed right. it all. And so all of his hey. runs along with the other team runs are on YouTube as well. So mm-hmm. if you were interested in seeing that, um, that is also there for your viewing pleasure. Mm-hmm. And that's also, just because I want to plug it, you could also just watch Let's Go Dream Team too. It's <laughs> it's available worldwide. It yeah. has English subtitles, um, so you don't even have to know Korean to watch it, and it's way more entertaining than X Warrior or Sasuke Vietnam, quite frankly. Yeah. So just watch that instead. <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> sad. I, yeah. That's pretty sad. It's just. <sighs> Oh well. But seriously though, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Dream Team Two. They had mud wrestling <laughs> recently, and that, like, I always I like the mud wrestling episodes. They're really entertaining. Yeah. It so, was. Anyway, 
Do you want my other so, transition? Transition to worldwide, uh, uh, yeah. from worldwide streaming to worldwide shipping? Worldwide sales or yeah. international. So I put so. on my blog back in March, I think it was, April, right. that TBS had announced that they had partnered with um, a Tokyo huge, Otakumo. Yeah, they're a huge company. Their they Facebook is like 17 million likes. <laughs> They, wow really yeah really? 17 million at 17 or 18 million at this point am i am i one of those people probably might be. I, <laughs> you I don't even know that. how many likes are on that page i mean to give Dude. you a comparison ninja warrior has um well what used to be the ninja warrior and is now commandeered to the american ninja warrior has uh was huh. 1.4 okay i am looking at the uh i'm looking at the facebook page right now it has 18,157,893. So they have gained a million subscribers in the last 30 days. <laughs> I just, uh, and I just liked it, so. Yeah. There you go. Because it was 17 million when I did that article. And the, the, the most recent article, too. But um, what had happened was... For those that are interested in actually getting officially licensed TBS Sasuke merchandise, T-shirts, right. um, keychains, right. um, iPhone had... six case, yeah, um, they have a dog tag. They have some die cut keychain that's a weird shape. They Towels. have a they have a sticker. They yeah. have um, they have key rings, um, and they have a. Misanga good luck bracelet or however you pronounce that word oh they also have a um two different types of towels one of them is yeah. the um the towel that Te asa wears technically that four what's the fourth one because they, they have, have two sports, big oh and they, they have got, a um they got, yeah they have, they a have Japanese three different hand towel. yeah they have three yeah, sasuke they towels they have one in sasuke the towels. hand towel they have a, a face towel and sports towel yeah. i'm looking at the pitch right now so yeah. that's how I know all this. They also have a Sasuke writing A4 clear file. So, you know, if you want to store your fo papers in, in a folder that says Sasuke <laughs> on it, you can do that. So that is, for for those that were interested, that was from the TBSI uh, shop, the famous can, one that has yeah. zero worldwide shipping, and it's a royal pain in the nards to even order within Japan, is <laughs> what I yeah. found out. Um, yeah. I actually still have a couple of those at home. I should probably, like, you know, see if anybody wants to buy them off me, because I got them in, in Sasuke. They're different They're different ones, yeah. not just the, the black and with I, the gold. And I have some of those items, thanks to you. Yay! Th uh, well, thanks to I, you to help me get to Japan. I'm eternally uh, like, grateful. <laughs> no, I'm, I'll keep saying it to the end of time. Yeah. I still can't believe it actually happened. Well, uh, hey, you know what? This it look. If they keep doing this with like every tournament, it's going to be a lot cheaper to get a hold of the merchandise. I don't have to spend hundreds of yes. dollars to send a person to go there. So for for example, they're still getting remembered like with anything when you're dealing with TBS. Um, they get things in small trickles, <laughs> so they're still slowly but surely <sighs> um, um, filling their 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 warehouse with with all of the um, uh, the merchandise. So something that may be out of stock right now will probably not be out of stock uh, later. So you have to check mm -hmm. back with the store. Because I know they had certain sizes that were not available. But um, okay. that's what they want to do now to try to expand. Right now, they only have Sasuke 31 stuff. So right. not everything that is in the TBSI store is in to uh, Tokyo oh, Taku wow. mode yet. But um, slowly but surely. But this is the hopefully this is the first step to be able to get that market. Because up to this point, unless you knew somebody in Japan or knew somebody that was going to Sasuke to get you know, clothing like <laughs> what happened with me where I was standing in line getting stuff for everybody um, that uh, helped me get over there. This is finally, hopefully, a, a door that's opening because they ship worldwide. They're, I think their um, main headquarters is in California. I believe they're in California. Uh, yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. So either way, they're West Coast and um, anyway, they'll ship anywhere they have, worldwide. 
Yeah, they ship worldwide. And they have, like, um, point systems and everything, so you can get, like, discounts yeah. um, the more that so you buy. So, as, as someone who has purchased uh, from them before, with my Oi Yukimuro uh, Nedroid from Encouragement of Climb, that's <laughs> I like a lot, um, they, if you sign up for their website, you actually get, um, I believe it's five bucks free and, and points. That's cool. Uh, which is nice, and like if you refer people to the site, you get bonus uh, cash as well, mm-hmm. and you get a little bit of points um, with every purchase that you make. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing that I really like about the website is that when you look at items, uh, they let you know how many of that item you ha- they have left. Yes. Uh, when it's which you know it, it lets you know whether or not you should get on that. Um, it's a it, it's a very nice layout website. Um, it, it, it's a good site. It's a good site. I, I really like what they do. I think their prices are overall pretty fair compared to um, similar websites selling the same items. Mm-hmm. Um, so Although that, in this case, more... there is no other comparison. And they oh, are yeah, 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 yeah. roughly I, I mainly, around the I'm same mainly, price. As I'm Japan. mainly referring to the hundreds of anime uh, figures that you can buy. Yeah. Um, no, and, and that's that's yeah. the same in general. Like, if you're going to order from, like, Rock 10 or, or any other um, anime products type thing. Because that, that's an entirely yeah. separate market. Oh, yeah. Um, absolutely. I'm just happy that this is available because we've been complaining about this for yeah. as long as I've watched the show. Which is you know, even though even though like months ago you yeah. you brought it up the uh, you know this whole deal and stuff I didn't think it was actually going to happen I didn't I think so expecting. either <laughs> I just thought like TVS would be like oh, we forgot well we've something. had failed ventures before remember the uh, oh, the yeah. Sasuke World Tour that and the M Nine had done we were supposed to have a fan site we were supposed to have um, yeah. um, worldwide market. Yes, um, I, re- all I remember of that, that stuff that M Nine had promised us. They even had a website yeah. for. They had a storefront. They had all no. this extra okay. stuff, and it you never wanna... happened. <laughs> you want to know the worst part about that never happening? Mm-hmm. They promised th- that they were going to have a contest where you can design one of the obstacles yes. on the course. Yeah. And do you have any idea how much I wanted to win that contest? <laughs> Never happened. Oh man! Hey, you had the opportunity to do it this time, and you didn't. <laughs> yeah, well, I was I was having an off month. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully we can do something like that next year. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So. Okay, so here's here's my question about this whole thing. Mm-hmm. So so they're expanding so that people outside of Japan can buy Sasuke merchandise. Correct. Specifically, Sasuke Thirty One merchandise. Correct. I have a question. Mm-hmm. I I probably already know the answer, but I just want confirmation. How many countries outside of Japan has legally aired Sasuke Thirty One? Zero. Okay. Do you get my small my my concern? Yes. Or my conf- my confusion with what they're doing? Yes. We've had, we, we, I've had we meetings outs- over this. Yes. Like, and again, like, it uh, goes back you know, to the argument I... with NBC because when NBC stopped carrying Ninja Warrior, they also mm-hmm. stopped producing yes. the item that was shipped worldwide, which was the Ninja Warrior right. half hour broadcast, half hour, well, at, you at, know, at, segment broadcast. Yes. So people they, stopped at, buying it. In any way, has TBS tried to get the Japanese show aired any anyhow anywhere else? Yes, um, they've had some interest in Southeast Asia. They right. have not, to my knowledge, and I may be incorrect at that, but I believe up to this point, no one has bought it because there's Is- all of the countries that were interested were also the same countries that carried the Ninja Warrior broadcast. And they mm-hmm. had it in time slots where they will only air one half hour thing every week. Right. So right. having a four hour block and they didn't want to do the extra editing because it's still the right. same price and but they would still have to right. do more per- post production. They just went, no. Okay. That makes sense. All right. So here's here's my next question. 
at any point has TBS considered um, streaming websites? No. Why? Because they're dinosaurs. They really do okay. not understand social media. Okay. They're always terrified. And now, th- this is a TBS corporate thing, not just Sasuke. Right. Very few TBS, even anime, shows streaming. I'm aware because... Because they're I terrified like, of of pirating. Well, not, and I'm like, not, not like you that. really do not understand this. You can actually Wow. Do we, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They're afraid that if they air their shows on uh-huh. streaming sites, which by their design yep. is to are, is to fight piracy, mm-hmm. that piracy would increase. Why do you think we call them dinosaurs? They, they do not understand oh the lucrative nature of doing something like that. The other problem is they do so not TV- have a physical product. They only have mm. Sasuke 30 on DVD. So, right. for example, like, you know, c- um, companies like NIS and Sentai and, and uh, Funimation, they understand that people will sit there and watch the whole thing and then realize, you know what, that was really good, let me go buy that. They don't right. have that in TBS. So, right. th- and the, the, they kept saying, well, we don't want the Japanese seeing that, so and then, you know, it'll, it's going to affect their ratings. But there's two problems with that. First, you can do region blocking. Yes, there are ways around it. There are always ways around it. That is not a good example of doing that. Second, ratings are only acquired in the Kanto region, which is the area around Tokyo, which means you are effectively not even getting ratings from any other prefecture. So in which case, it doesn't matter whether or not they watched it streaming or not it's not going to affect your ratings so that argument is invalid so it's like do you understand why people know that you're stupid not even think we know you're stupid every other com- uh, company has uh, knows how to do streaming they can pick anything they can hell they could even throw it on nico nico if they wanted to but they won't because they don't understand how to use social media that is something that they still think what worked 30 years ago is going to work now. And that's why they're the last station in the country. Well, that explains why Amagi Brilliant Park never made it to Crunchyroll until like a year later and yeah. Sentai picked up the license. Yeah. And in which case it came from Sentai and not from TBS. Okay. So this uh, what? yes I, I mean, okay, <laughs> trust me this is we've had this discussion before because i wanted the same thing for it because there it have been seems... some discussions also on you know the world event that they announced that still hasn't yeah. even been decided yet because yeah, i wanted just, that worldwide just... streaming too since it, it will be i don't know a world event <laughs> people would like to see that live thank you very much it's so, just one of those things where like even even if it's on like a you know tape delay Mm-hmm. Like, wouldn't it make? Yes, they under like like how cool would it be if like say Sasuke ends up on Crunchyroll because they do live action stuff on Crunchyroll. Yeah, and it's like they can make like every time someone watches that on Crunchyroll, TBS gets money. Yeah, because that's that how their pay be, structure works. Yeah, you can. And they do that on Hulu, where Hulu pays yeah. uh, pays uh, you exactly. know an X fee or whatever, or Netflix. Yeah. So if they're really worried about that, they don't want the Japanese doing that, then throw it on a different market so people can see it. But it's the, yeah. the well, you know, and then you know we have to repay the sponsors, strip the sponsorship from the dang thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can edit you can edit videos. There's they are, they so are many you can things videos, that they right? can do, and you know Inui has done streaming stuff before, so it's not mm. like is it just it. The least this is also the the problem that's going on in Sasuke now, where the, a lot of the politics is the fact that they don't want Sasuke to succeed because they make an obscene amount more money on the spinoffs, so they're trying to kill the original Sasuke. Because they don't want to do any work. Remember, this is, to, to give you a frame of perspective, from Sasuke 1 to Sasuke 29, uh, 27, you had, in some form or fashion, Higuchi working on this. So Higuchi was the producer. Um, in some point, so that he was doing some directing. But either way, he physically produced the product. 
when M9 went down, because M9 wasn't there all the way from Sasuke 1 or whatever. That was like from Sasuke 14 or 15, I think 15 or 16 on to 27. But regardless, it was still the same creator. So you had him doing all of the work or at least hiring their work or at least doing the product itself. Now, it's totally different. It's now thrown on TBS. And TBS just frankly does not want to do any work. So everything is thrown on, on Inui, who's also hired because he's, he's Fullcom. He is not TBS. So he does his work and whatever, but they don't want to do anything else. Remember, now TBS has to contact all of the advertisers, do all the marketing, do all the interviews, all the stuff that M9 used to do. So as far as they're concerned, they'd rather just sit back and get the paycheck from the royalties of A&W and all of his spinoffs and whatever than actually promote and do Sasuke. It's work for them, which is different than what it was when M9 was around. So people are trying to figure out why this is happening. This is why, because it's less work for TBS to pawn it off for somebody else and just get the residuals from it. They don't have to do anything. All they have to do is just sign a contract. But with Sasuke, they actually have to do work. So when you start adding these things like streaming and whatever, like on, on the, the whole Nico Nico thing, that was Inui that set that up. We sat and talked about it for two years on how we can get, you know, people to watch the show. And, you know, gave some ideas and whatever. Some worked, some didn't. Um, some never happened. But it's always trying to fight TBS. And it's just, it's an internal problem. And it's not just with Sasuke. It is just an internal corporate mentality that things that worked 30 years ago suddenly works now no the market has completely changed and so they're so far behind the ball and losing to all of the other networks because they haven't adapted to the times they don't understand the structure that television is now so when they see something like american ninja warrior and the footprint that they have worldwide nbc worked their ass off on this sorry for using the word they worked their butt off on this badly and so that's how you make money you use you know you you pay money to get money so the just their marketing it's in the millions us millions just to market the show is it everywhere oh heck yeah but that's the point they worked for it that's something that tbs just refuses to do m9 was everywhere just ask yube they had I don't even know how many cross-promotion shows they had, um, games, they had trading cards. All of that was because Huguchi made it. TBS did not do that. And I've had my own issues trying to bring other things here in the United States, again, dealing with TBS because they're like, well, uh, oh, well, I don't know when did it, it's like, do you do you not like making money is that what your issue is <laughs> because that's basically what this is supposed to be this is a money-making venture this is still a television show this is still a business and it's beyond me how they don't think in a business sense simply because they don't want to do the work it's like if you don't want to do the, hire somebody to do it for you you don't have to do it yourself we've like oh god the frustration and this is all the stuff that's going on in the background so people are like well i don't understand why this is working i'm like look trust me we've been working on this in ages they don't get it they just seriously don't get it and when you see tbs corporate that's the same problem so it's not just a sasuke issue so people that follow anime understand this crystal clear all you have to do is any tbs anime how long does it finally take to either air in a separate country or to have a physical medium and you have your answer right there so when you, you know see what? with sasuke with a smaller because it is much it is only at this point now once a year because reasons um event as opposed to an anime which is a weekly thing and may run for 12 24 weeks whatever it's a much smaller right. um problem to have so it's just it's incredibly frustrating trying to have a business conversation with someone that has literally no interest in doing any work you know what the ultimate irony of what tbs's view on streaming is hmm 
So, so taking a Maggie Brilliant Park as an example, mm-hmm. um, that show, it it was it was a popular show last year during you know, for anime, um, because it wasn't on any streaming site. Do you know how most people watch that show? Illegally. Exactly. Yes. And you know, you know that the amount of people that would have that that number would have gone down dramatically if it had been on Crunchyroll like it was supposed to be from the beginning. Yeah. And, and then they wonder, I, well, so when they finally come up with like a um a physical thing, and of course, 90% if you've noticed also TBS stuff, they almost never have Blu-ray. They only have DVD. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it's just like it, it wow. So you don't want piracy, but you do absolutely nothing to give them a legal option. Wow. So Holy crap. How are you... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on for a second. Sure. You want something even dumber? I'm looking at the, uh, I'm looking at the Crunchyroll page for Amaki Brilliant Park. Uh-huh. There's, there is a notice that says, due to licensing restrictions, episode 13 is not available at this time. <laughs> Again, because TBS. You know how I always had to finish things were either because NBC. Yeah, because TBS, and wow, that's why dumb. I bring up I bring up anime because anime is just it is also a symptom of the. You know what I mean? It, yeah. These are all symptoms of a problem okay. in the pro- Yeah, so it's what's, just how they are saying... structured and how they understand. They have. I'm not even going to say it's an age thing. It's, it's a culture thing. The culture within TBS, they do not understand the current market, and this is why they're failing and mm. failing hard. So, so, what you're, mm-hmm. so what you're getting at is that if Sasuke was a TV Tokyo show, we probably would have had it on Crunchyroll by now. If, if it was anybody but TBS... Okay, to give you a brilliant example, which show... Of that of the Higuchi Empire did I see first? Viking. What network was Viking? ESPN. The one in Japan. Oh, TV Tokyo. No. Fuji. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Fuji, yeah. All Fuji shows aired in the United States within six months. All of them. All of them. So here I am in 2006 watching Viking that had aired six months before. Actually, less than that because I saw it. I saw it 2000 and, well, 2007. So I saw it in um, January of 2007 and that was taped in 2006. Um, like the right. middle of the year to, to, because it was in the summer. Six months. Have we seen Sasuke here? How long did it take? Eighteen well, tournaments. Let's see. The um, well, fifteen technically. Uh, no, no, no. When they actually? Uh, oh, you're right. Yeah, Sorry. it was after the seventeenth. Well, actually, actually, nineteen because eighteen didn't air until after nineteen was taped. Okay, and then they're even better. So, it took them so it's how many years? <laughs> 19 tournaments. Takeshi's Castle. How long did it take for the actual DVD to be made? That, 10 oh, wow, years. Yeah. 10 years after it stopped yeah. airing in Japan. TBS. That's all you need to know. So when you when you and understand the partially... history of TBS in mm-hmm. general, all of it starts making sense. Well, making sense yeah. is where you understand where the problems are. It's all TBS. This is why I bang my head up against the wall going, it's like, here's money right on the table, and you just, no, because you have to do work. It just, it, it boggles the mind, because mm-hmm. I'm, my brain is business oriented. It has always been. It's just something ingrained in my brain. It's like, I, I want to figure yeah. out how to get from point A to point B. What are the obstacles? Let's just run through that and whatever. And I'm trying to talk to someone that is considered to be another business partner, and they just give me the glass-eyed look. It frustrates me, going, how did you get your job? <laughs> or what is the posi- What is the point of your job? Why do you have that position? If the whole point of distributing this show 
and you're not distributing it, why are you still there? <laughs> so, and then you start. Well, there's a politics and that's how that literally you just put it into politics because i don't understand the the business structure in tbs it makes no sense to me because here you are with the exact same license in the united states making millions and they're like just imagine and the scary part is they don't even have merchandising yet right imagine if nbc turned around and said Hey, you want an American underwear t shirt? Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Or, hey, we're going to put this on DVD or Blu ray. How many are going to buy those? Especially if they promise, it. especially if they promise, like, um, you know, never seen, never before seen footage. So you have all of those Ooh. competitors that have, that have had their, their runs cut. Dude, do you have any right. idea how much money that would make? Granted, oh our, the, our history here in the United States, we are very much. Um, a physical media um, um, country. We just are. And because the way we see it is a yeah. little bit different. If you Japan were to go in... Too. Well, like, for example... No, no, it really isn't because they don't have reruns. So, okay, you would say... Yeah, yeah. You would I, have I, I mainly, something like... I mainly I'm mainly thinking of like, like um, anime. Well, like for example, if you're going to introduce... Um, if you're going to introduce um, someone to a show they've never seen before, and this not just even Sasuke, just um, you know anime or drama or your favorite comedy and whatever, hey, you know season four is coming up. Well, I don't know anything. So, well, okay, seasons one through three are there, or see some of it, or some of it is online. The last five episodes or whatever, something to catch up and then have those brand new mm-hmm. people there caught up so then they can watch the current stuff. Right. That's just well, ingrained in our culture. Mm. So, um, interesting point is that um, Netflix just launched in Japan. Yes. So, maybe, just maybe they'll start to open up to stuff like that? Who knows? The I reason know, why I don't believe it's going to happen because I've had asked that question. And the right. answer that was given to me is, well, if Sasuke's dead anyway, what's the point? Oh, so it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Exactly! <laughs> Which is... Yeah, I remember that conversation very well. But it, it's... It, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like look, right, I well. understand that Sasuke is not going to last forever. Just nothing lasts forever. No. Even just... A&W is never yeah. going to last forever. It's just, it just is. No. Although at the same time, if I see Survivor yeah. lasting for how many years and whatever, it may actually happen. <laughs> Survivor's been around for a long time. Entire generation has grown up on that. It's 20 odd years. Think about it's that for a, a second. Time. Yeah, exactly. So who I knows? Know. There may be an American Ninja Warrior forever. I, I have no idea. And it has yeah. the type of structure that it can survive something like that because there isn't, and this is against the Morosky thing, it's, there isn't a set people that you continue to watch, which was also, if you go back to the Sasuke thing, also part of the problem with, with how Sasuke Rising was because they were trying to wean people off of the All-Stars because that was a mistake that they did because they sacrificed all other things to show this, the the all star story that no one connected with any of the new generation, so that's why Rising is done a little bit differently. We can argue about what you know we did to Thirty One later. <laughs> I'm sure I've beaten that dead horse too. But the idea is that they're trying not to create groups. So if there is an individual person like someone like Anastas, Anastas would not have happened any other time. Because now the show is structured where anybody that enters the show has a clear shot of getting all the way to the end. So, as opposed to, hey, we have XYZ people, let's watch their rise and fall, sacrificing everybody else. You know what I mean? So that's why there isn't, they're not pushing, yes, there are Shin Sedai, but there isn't like, looks, look at the Shin Sedai. Don't do that anymore. They don't. So... It, that's also one of the reasons why most people uh, miss Navi as well, because you know who's going to do well depending on how they push. <laughs> that wasn't yeah. quite that way before, because what they used to do is basically have an all-star section, and you had no idea what they were going to do, because there was always an all-star section. Now it isn't, so they're still 
trying to tweak how that works out if this continues right. to go. But still, I understand and I agree with how that is set up. So right. people that did well in the previous tournament can finally get their just due. Mm-hmm. Unless you're right. Kenji Takahashi, in which case you're going to get screwed no matter what. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not so bitter. <laughs> one, one, one final question. Mm-hmm. So you mentioned that TBS would rather license out their shows than to put real effort into their properties. Correct. D- does th- why then haven't they licensed out to Chucky's Castle to an American <laughs> channel yet to make a U.S. version of Chucky's Castle? Because I um, really want that. I'm not sure because they have licensed it out in in England. I really want that. Well, unless really unless a station that wants that, because the only ones that did it were um, Spike and MXC. Yes, they did one episode in Orlando Studios where they built four of the games and they had a bunch of college students as well as Tony Hawk and Tara Katatis, uh, how do you pronounce her name, uh, there. And it was really good and it makes me wish that we had like a full-blown U.S. version of Takeshi's Castle in the United States. Well, unless I there really is a fan outcry that people want that sort of thing. Right I'm a spike. fan who is outcrying right now. Well, Give I'm just it saying, to me. <laughs> <laughs> right to Spike. That's how all these I, things work. You remember, you've I had an entire of, story on, you know, on BattleBots, and then spike. all these years yeah. later it came back. There's plenty yeah. of things that over an extended period of time all of a sudden hey i want a revival and some things come back and some things don't but they won't know unless you go after it it's not coming from nbc that's for sure that is a good point if there is one positive if there's one absolutely positive thing that has come from american ninja warrior Mm -hmm. is that it's because we i mentioned this when i talked about BattleBots a couple of months ago is that for some reason or somehow it has it has shown networks that shows that are perceived to be uh, cable network only shows mm-hmm. uh, can be successful on network television. Yeah, it's worked for A and W. It's worked for BattleBots. Maybe someone like CBS can produce a U.S. version of Takeshi's Castle. I'm not sure. The only reason why I think that I'm not sure is because of Wipeout. I well, that's ABC. So no, but that's true. But the um, the IB in them is that's to show that they ripped off, and it has well, showed a precipitate the, fall. It's not on the show. The show's not on the air anymore. So I don't yeah, know. I know. So unless yeah. they well, unless it is. Spe- so I'm still trying to figure out what the negotiations on the um, yeah, on the lawsuit were. Know. Do they own the license to Takeshi's Castle now? It doesn't. I've seen. I've watched the show. At no point in the credits is TBS listed. Then, um, in which it, case, yeah, I, then as, then there is no one that officially owns the license. In which case, anybody can go after it. To my understanding, yeah. 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 Well, like because the saying, situation like, with with NBC, yeah. there has always been argument on whether or not they still own the Sasuke license. Right. And the answer is no. They own the NB- right. the American Ninja Warrior license. They do not own the Sasuke license. Right. Because yeah. if they did, they would own, they would shit and they would show, you know, Sasuke here. Because that's, that's right. in, an intricate part of that negotiation. And that right. was severed four so, years ago. We're five now. Yeah, yeah. Just saying, it'd be nice, because yeah, the but image, they won't know the until imi- somebody asks. Yeah, yeah. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask people. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, yeah. Why not? Why not? Because I'm just saying, like the imagery of like Tony Hawk on top of the log drop was really cool, <laughs> and I like to see like. And I'm just saying, like if anyone. So well, do you want Takeshi's any- Castle? Or do you want MXC back? Um, I want. You know what? I don't even care if, as long as it's a version of the show that I can apply to be on. <laughs> that is what I. I don't care what they call it. Interesting. I had this years ago. I created this version in my head where Count Takeshi. Uh, Take- uh, wow, well, Count Takeshi. Takeshi. Yeah. Takeshi. Was played by George Takei. <laughs> oh my. Takei's castle. <laughs> yeah. 
that would be cool. That would be hilarious. Yeah. You would have to fight Count uh, Lord Takei oh, to storm my. his castle. <laughs> and God, that, that would be, be That'd be great. Yeah. Do that. He, he, he'd be down for it. <laughs> He's done weirder stuff. And the thing about it is that the thing that, that you can use is the success of uh, Thailand's version. Because that's a really yes. funny show. And yeah. I don't understand, uh, like, not even, like, with Japanese, I'm actually, I've listened so much to it, I actually understand some words here and there. I don't right. even know where to begin with the Thai language. No. So, I know nothing about it, and I'm still laughing hilariously, and I watch every week. Yeah. yeah. There you it's go. Good show. Okay, cool. Yeah. I should watch MXC. <laughs> I don't have that I have yet. the DVDs. Yeah, I don't have the DVDs. You should buy the DVDs. <laughs> They're really... It's a good show. <laughs> I still want a Sasuke I, I, one. Ah, uh, well. Buy the MXC. It'll be... It's it's like Sasuke, but a lot different in every way. But it's the same <laughs> location. But it's, it's this... But it's the same location, so it's like you're watching a prequel. Hey, to I would love a worldwide version of the Sasuke 30 DVD. Is it going to happen? You are nope. Not alone. <laughs> nope. Oh well. <sighs> and on that note, yeah, <laughs> we were supposed to do an ap- on a positive end. <laughs> not that right, we no, did it. <laughs> no, no. All right, here's your positive note. So MXC is a really good show. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's it's one of the best things Spike TV has ever done, and it it single handedly kick started the Japanese uh, game show movement in America, yeah. which and is partially responsible for Ninja Warrior even making it to the U.S. So I agree. You know, if you Viking like came Ninja over Warrior, because of it. Mm-hmm. So if you like Sasuke watch mxc slash jacasti's castle because mm-hmm. it's a great show and it's filmed in the same location so it's like you're watching it's like you're watching the prequel episode <laughs> yeah. movies except except they're good <laughs> well okay t- to be fair i liked episode one and three i just two is not good um <laughs> anyway and on that note mm-hmm. thank you everyone for listening to the final stage podcast uh I, I hope you had a good time. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and as usual, That's I'm good. like, That's "Hey, good. are we gonna break the two-hour mark?" Nah. Yeah. yeah I. <laughs> we somehow, somehow, we continue to persevere in never making a short episode ever again. <laughs> hey, it proves how passionate we are about the subject. It does. Um. Anyway. Uh, if you if you want to contact me. Uh, I can be found at uh, on Twitter at 2D2Will. You can uh, listen to me talk about wrestling and <laughs> occasionally anime and video games and a lot of stuff that has nothing to do with Sasuke. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially now that American Ninja Warrior is done until they decide to air their special episodes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, look forward to none of the stuff that we talk about on this show. On Twitter. <laughs> um... In addition, you can find uh, some of my stuff at uh, 222productions.com. I am actually in the process of updating that site so that it has all of the stuff, all the videos that aren't on that website will be on that website. Cool. So look forward to that. In addition, you can find me at 2-2.com. There's stuff coming along the way. In fact, by the time this podcast comes out, there may be stuff there. So maybe you should check it out. Yay. Um, you know, just... Maybe you should do that. I like your reviews. Uh, maybe <laughs> it involves a show that I referenced about a certain figure that I bought. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. Look forward to it. <laughs> Look forward to it. Hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm working on stuff. I got to buy. Uh, I there should there would have been a new video out sooner than later, but my my disk drive is broken on my computer, so I need a new <sighs> one to to uh you know actually get the footage i hear you gotta love technical Uh, issues (laughs) oh yeah totally so you know working on that and uh i guess you know it's the end of the show i should mention it um if if you choose if you want to you can choose to uh uh, support the final stage podcast monetarily using the uh youtube uh tip jar feature on uh the 222 productions uh youtube channel Mm -hmm. 
um, is completely optional. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you choose, if you do choose, uh, uh, you will have my uh, my thanks, and uh, you will help with the hosting of the show. Yay! Yay! So, where can we find you, Arsenet? Um, my Twitter and YouTube are identical, Arsenet, and um, my um, blog is um, ramblingrecon.blogspot.com. I finished the Sasuke 31 review, so if anybody had missed the broadcast, which is quite a bit of you, I have um, basically a picture version of it, of everything that happened um, on the broadcast in Japan. Um, I'm now updating and doing uh, interviews, one of them with uh, one of the competitors called, <laughs> everybody calls him Wreath Man, uh, Anastas Ragivaru. Um, that's coming up probably by the time this, um, this episode airs. And um, then I'll be doing a whole bunch of blogs and videos on YouTube on my trip to Japan from way back in May. <laughs> I wanted to wait until all of that was done before I got to the trip itself. Um, I'll also be doing um, a calendar again this year, so if anybody was interested in, in that, um, I'll be putting that up on um, with links to where to get that um, to try to do, you know, also fundraisers and just because people actually like the calendar because they've never seen it before and actually has uh, competitor pictures, most of them donated or, you know, they pose directly for because they're now interested in it since they've never seen something like that before. <laughs> now they do, so they're all going, yes, me, 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 this year. It was really cute. So hopefully I'll have that back in October, so it'll be before the next broadcast. Um, I'm happy that, you know, Will got this on iTunes as well, so if you can uh, leave us a, um, a rating of review, we'd really appreciate it. So, oh yeah, I forgot about that. No, it's fine. <laughs> well, there's you know the five episodes now that are up. Um, with and this will be coming up as well, and um, Podbean has all of them as well. That's the actual hosting site. So there's several ways that you can watch and support this site. So um, if you have any questions, also on um, for ideas for a future podcast outside of us, you know, yammering about A and W. Um, hey, look! I, I, there's a really good chance we will be talking about AW next month. I'm just, I have a feeling. Yeah, I hope at least so that we can know when the world event and the NW um, All Star Special thingy is gonna be on because that's nah, they, that's a fan thing. That's just stuff yeah. that I I look forward to, and I'm, knowing I'm that it was perfectly fine this year, I'm actually yeah. looking forward to it. I might have to I'm mute predicting Matt, but January for. Yeah, that's Both what they did the person. first year. The USA versus yeah. uh, um, USA versus Japan. Japan was also in January, yeah. and then the following two world ones were in September, and it seemed to have not worked that well in ratings wise. So they just have to find a new one. I'm just curious whether or not uh, which one's next. I'm trying to figure out if World is next or if All Star is next. But either way, well, hopefully well. next month we'll find out and have that information. Um, we're also mm -hmm. on um, uh, Sasuke Maniac forums. Um, it's a pro boards um, place, so if you're interested in talking and arguing and everything about obstacles, Sasuke, there's an entire section just on A&W if you're interested in that community. We're constantly Especially growing. Arguing. Yeah, and and even competitors are there. Jeff is there. <laughs> so hey. if you want to sit there and, and, and you know, talk about Sasuke and A&W um, in their respective forums, <laughs> please don't mix the two. We're technically... Um, one big community, but we talk about them separately, so you know, please be nice when you're in there. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Alright then. Well, uh, this was a pretty successful show. Yay! So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, let's close it out. Um, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for listening, watching, listening. <laughs> I, I had to screw that up. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. Well, look, look, we don't have time to do a reshoot of that ending line because I really have to go to the bathroom. So bye, everyone. <laughs> bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>